And uh, welcome back, everyone. And today I will be conversating with Cujo, and he will be dining with the wizard. So if you don't like subliminals, if you don't like uh, hypotheticals, uh, if you don't like to laugh, then maybe you should log your ass off right about now. But back by popular demand, Cujo the Savage. How you doing, Cujo? Pretty good, Tony. What's up? How you like dining with me, bro? You enjoy dining with me? I enjoy it. I okay, like cool. Here's what I did. Uh, I went to Dominic's. Uh, Alex, I think you probably need to fix this camera because you cannot see our food. And it's very important that you fix people see our food. So right now, he's about to move it so you can see our food. Okay. Anyways, there you go. It's coming along. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. You're doing a great job, Alex. There you go. A little bit lower. Should be good right there. We're good. Okay, I went. I went to. I, I I believe in supporting local businesses here, especially in the hood. And this is a uh, a place out here in the harbor area, Carson, passing the train tracks. If you live in Wilmington, you just take Avalon up and pass the train tracks. It's on your left hand side. It's called Dominic's. Mm -hmm. It's an Italian food. I've been going there since I've been a kid. Like it is really, really fucking dope. So um, I bought some lasagna, and I wanted you to try it. And that's pretty good so far. Yeah. I got your lasagna, and then um, what, what, what else did you get in? You got your bread? And some salad. And some salad. And some dressing. Yeah. I, I, I gave the salad and the, uh, the, the, the bread away. So, But I just wanted to eat the lasagna. <laughs> so. Also, oh, this was your salad and No, 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 no. Not yours. Okay. Not yours. You can have it. Maybe. You're my guest, so. We can, share. we can make a spread with it. No, 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 no. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But, you know, um, here's my thing. I like Italian food. But I'll tell you one place I do not consider Italian okay, wait. is that Olive Garden. No, it's not Italian. Yeah, that's not, that's like Taco Bell for Italians. To me, there's only two places that I've really tried and that I've ate. Like, <laughs> it's like Lomelli's. No, never heard of it. Pretty good, Right though? next to the Rodium, right next to it. For reals? Yeah, by, uh, there's that liquor store by the, by the Rodium, right? On the corner. Yeah, yeah. Also, right, right across from that, but where, that, where the fucking uh, Ross is at. Oh, okay, this okay. This place called Lomelli's, it's good. Um, and then Giuliano's on the boulevard. Okay, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to try it. Both on. There's a place in Torrance called Gatanos, and that one I really like. It's off of PCH and Crenshaw, so I like going there to eat every once in a while. I had butternut. I think it's butternut. Butter what? Butternut squash. <laughs> butternut squash uh, raviolis. They're actually really good. I actually even had lobster raviolis, which is also very very good. A lobster. Lobster raviolis. Oh, I want to try that. Yeah, that one was fucking pretty good. I'll, maybe I'll get that next time. But I'm trying to hit all the local spots around the neighborhood first, you know, and help them out a little bit with a little bit of cash and go from there. Yep. But now, um, what are you drinking with your lasagna? Hennessy and Coke. And why? Because beer's making me fucking too fat, and it's always made me fat, so I'm trying to stop. So beer's making you too fucking fat, and you're trying to fucking fat because you're no, you're trying to fucking stop because you're too fucking fat. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> all right, all right. And Alex, while we're chewing on this, introduce us to your food. I got a um, meatball sandwich mm -hmm. with uh, melted cheese. The bread's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's really good, actually. Hmm. I thought he was going to be like, I got Jack in the Box. I got the McClug. Well, I whatever. almost bought him. I almost bought him that. <laughs> so, But, um... Remember, you guys, when we do Dining with the Wizard, it's at any day. I, I try not to promote it. You guys hit the notification bell button. You guys can get notified whenever we go on, whenever we talk shit, whenever we get fucking drunk and start exposing people. I'm only playing. But, um, <laughs> it, it, it could just, so other than that, you haven't been here since episode one. Uh, what episode is this, Alex? Like seven? Yes. Episode seven, Okay. You haven't been here six episodes. People miss you. People wanted you back. So now you're here. And I want to thank you for being here. Of course. But what have you been doing since? I mean, I know we could talk studio life, but fill us in. Well, I got fatter. Okay. I'm trying to stop drinking beer. You know, um, while you're chewing, I can hear you getting fat. I know, but it's okay because this is food. Yeah, yeah. I, I can eat this. But... Um, We've been setting up for a music video, and after that comes out, the album comes out. Okay. So mostly it's just been studio life, pretty much, like okay. every day. That's good. That's good. Have you been collabing with anybody? 
Uh, yeah, I just did one with the uh, OGZ from Shoreline Mafia. Okay. And uh, Trouble Kid as well. Okay. Um, For people that may not know, are they any good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, that's like really the only collabs. Other than that, I've just been trying to finish up everything. You know how it is, like last touches and stuff like that. Okay. Last time when we talked, I know you were talking about Yellow Hill. Do you still keep in contact with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I talk to him every now and then. That's cool. I know he's been releasing a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So the uh, LA is not safe and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, um, that's just tight. I like it. That's just tight. Yeah. You know what? I looked at his. Uh, I looked at the single of that LA is not not safe. He named everybody around the Harbor area said Wilmington. So I guess Wilmington's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no, I, did you see the big one though? Like, there's like a bigger one. They like zoomed in on that one. Oh no, there's I like a bigger one. I, I'm pretty sure. You, I think I seen it. I was like, woo! I feel good. Yeah, because if you know, I think everybody in the high knows that Wilmington is probably one of the worst ones. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What I'm drinking, what I always like to drink, I like to drink Dr Pepper. I love fucking Dr Pepper. If you have not tried Dr Pepper cream soda or I think Dr Pepper vanilla or whatever, try it. The shit is fucking dope. And I don't even work for Dr Pepper seriously, but I like to drink Dr Pepper. Um, today I had some marisco. I had a big ass fucking shrimp cocktail. Let me give them a plug in the city of Linwood. Where my boy Julio G lives, there's a place called Mariscos El Moreno. Mariscos El Moreno. Fuck. You know what? Let me let me tell you something. You know, every time you order a shrimp cocktail, people have to dress it up. You have to put ketchup in it. Put some people with tapatio. Some people put extra lemon in it. With mine, with with them, it you, you don't have to add nothing. It's just bomb. It's just fucking bomb. Like they bring me the tapatio. They bring me the extra lemon, the the fucking whatever ketchup, and I don't need nothing. Uh, if you guys go on my story, you guys will see the fucking picture of it. Fucking amazing. When mariscos, I always like to drink like a, a, a Coke, you know, but yeah. Italian food, sometimes a Coke, but today I just wanted the Dr. Pepper. Later on, I'll bring out the Pacificos and the Espelon tequila. Okay. And um, uh, I know he he doesn't want to drink beer anymore because he said he's, by his own admission, he's getting too fucking fat. Mm-hmm. So I'm not trying to encourage him to continue to get fucking fatter. But if I get drunk enough, I'll drink beer. All right, cool. You know, and um, he's trying to get those those chipmunk uh, cheeks, huh? I mean, even though girls may say he's cute, he's fine, and he's good looking, because they do say that, you know, a lot of those girls, you know. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, I tried to throw in the chipmunks for their new movie, but I didn't make the cut. Fool. You didn't? Mm-mm. No, they said get the fuck out and of yeah, here. Yeah, I needed to put two acorns in my cheeks. I wasn't with that shit. Fool. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thing that I want to talk about real it's quick. A joke. You yes. Understand it. Okay. I want to bring something up really quick because this is what's trending on social media. Okay. okay. Mayor Garcetti. Okay. This is what he says, and I quote: Mayor Garcetti, according to, let me see what channel this is. According to Channel Eleven News, mm-hmm. said this: LA employees not vaxxed or vaccinated by December 18th should prepare to lose jobs. How do you feel about that, man? Oh, well, for people who like to work, they're going to be hot. But for people like me who don't like to work, that's a dream come true. Yeah. The only so, thing that sucks for they're taking out that ADD shit. I heard, I heard that they're completely wiping that out after December. Why? I don't know. That's what I heard, though. That's going to hurt a lot of people, too. You know why they're doing that? Why? Because... And I think, okay, I'm just saying, not that I know, not that we have an inside school. It's not like me and fucking Garcetti play tennis together and he tells me shit on the low, low, you know, like keep it on the low, keep it on the low. Okay. What happens is I think they're trying to take people off so you can go back to work, but you can't go back to work unless you're vaccinated. Forcing them. It's, it's a setup. Okay. I, <coughs> has he ever came forward and said, he, has his ass been vaccinated? Huh. It, isn't it funny that... The White House is exempt from being vaccinated. Right. You know, so. Because they're, they're upper management, so they can just do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, Alex, ask on the live chat, um, ask them somehow, have you been vaccinated? Yes, no, or Charlie, or whatever. Now, what if you go to the homie studio? Okay. And um, you walk in, and, what's up, bro, about a 12 pack? And he goes, let me see your vaccination card. I just ignore that and keep going. 
Walk in the studio. Cujo, you cannot rap. You're endangering my life. You're no different than a drunk driver. Mm. You have to be vaccinated or you're going to have to leave or we're going to have to escort you out. <laughs> oh. No, I'll just be like, well, all right. And I probably will never go back. I'll yeah, because that idiot Governor Newsom said, you're no different than a drunk driver if you're not vaccinated. He said that? Yeah. I beg to differ. Go, have you go seen with me behind the wheel? Faded exactly. The See, the only reason why drunks crash when they're drunk is because they never learn how to drive when they're drunk. Exactly. That's what it is. You got to have at least a couple of 40s like in your system. 15. I'm, I'm a beast. Dude. Yeah. I could drive from here to fucking IE drunk as fuck. Like exactly. Two, a cold one eye. Exactly. Sometimes you got to kind of tilt the head a little bit. And you can kind of just see. Exactly. It's, it's speed, man. You're good. Yeah. So. Just play oldies. But not you know, too much because then you're going to fall asleep. You know, if you're drunk, they should have a license to like, you're exempt. Like yeah, yeah. The, like he's, he's good enough of a he's, he's good. Yeah, yo, he passed. He passed. He's good. You know, and man, your car, you know, reeks like fucking Hennessy. It's because I've been drinking. Oh, okay, let me see your license. Oh, yeah, no, he's good. That's cool, Joe. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, in a perfect world. Yeah. You know, the other day I seen the fucking meme. It was fucking hilarious. I was fucking dying. Yeah, it was a, a, a Mexican dude. I, get, I, I think it was a Mexican dude coming from the border. Mm -hmm. And they told him, papers. And he goes, scissors. <laughs> and the lady goes, damn, you're good. Go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That shit is fucking hilarious. So, uh, uh, let us know in a couple of minutes what people say about being vaccinated. <laughs> but I wonder if there's people out there that are willing to lose their jobs. Like, I'm not being vaccinated. Would you like go that to that like extent? Some chip shit. Like, I feel like you're gonna chip you or some shit. Or yeah, something, or something like that. That's why I don't want to do it. Yeah, because last time you were here, you know, Obama approached you and asked you if you would take the mark of the beast, and you said no. Nope. So, does that still stand? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, here's another one that I think is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice. But the other night, I did get a mark of another kind of beast. For reals? Uh huh. All down my back. No shit. Yep. French tips. No shit. So you had a midget walk on your back? <laughs> More like a wildebeest, but it's all. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Does she live in San Fernando Valley? No, my friend. <laughs> okay. Real quick, Donald Trump, and I'm all for this. I'm not a Trump supporter, okay. so don't misquote me. I don't mind you quoting me, just don't misquote me. Donald Trump to launch a social media platform, and it's called Truth. Okay, what's it about? No, just a social media, like like, like a MySpace, Facebook. Um, oh, like one of those? Like a Twitter. Would you, would, would you get an account? Okay, what is it about? Like, what's the main point? No, it's just called truth. I'm assuming that you can say whatever the fuck you want. Because oh. he, he got booted from Twitter. For talking too much truth? But think about this. If he's a president and they booted him off, who are me and you? Motherfucking Tony Edwards. <laughs> nah, savage. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you mean. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? If they could boot, they'll boot our, our asses off. So... Ah. If it's just going to be a social media and we can speak truth, I'm going on there. He's probably going to have like a bunch of like uncensored shit, huh? Yeah. Fucking Area 51, fucking alien porn, all kinds Cujo, of Cujo, you can say the truth as long as you hashtag grab her by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. My hair is coming off on me. Yeah, exactly. Fucking pelos de elote. Like, you know the corn husk and shit? That's what his hair looks like. But <laughs> That's actually a really good one. That does look like that. Hey, hey, hey. Um. Uh, you know, Halloween's around the corner. Okay. I love fucking Halloween. That's I told you I did. That's your favorite one. Don't ever doubt me. Okay. Um, are you down to be Donald Trump if I buy you the wig? That's like asking somebody, like, are you down to get jumped by a gang of motherfuckers for one night? <laughs> <laughs> what a shirt this is, grab her by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I'm down. All right. Okay. Walk into like a Mexican supermarket. I'm this close to shutting all you guys down. <laughs> I swear to God, if I don't get my fucking ranch arrow in about the next two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> all you guys are gone. All you guys are fucked. <laughs> Going back. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> you know, let me ask you this. I know you're not a Trump supporter. 
No. At least I think you're not. But him being in office, did it really fuck with your life at all? Not really. It was just stupid. Like, I felt like we just didn't go anywhere as a country. Yeah. Hmm. That's some good Dr. Pepper, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> that bitch is real. I heard the mini moan. It was like a mini moan. I was like, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that was a 23rd flavor, huh? See. Um, okay, so we got that. Now, um, let me see. I had a couple of things that I wanted to bring up, but I'm trying to see which one I bring, want to bring up first. Okay. Okay. Anyways, um, as far as social media, you know, you, you're not that active. I know last time we talked about it, and you you just, you rarely ever post, huh? I feel like it. Why? Are, like, are you the one of those guys that I like, don't want to mess up your pretty page? Uh -uh. So, like, you know, you post once a month? No, it's just that I've never been, like, a, that guy, like, you know, just... Okay. I was raised... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I was raised by fools like you guys and old school, and I feel like I'm a little bit old school when it comes to, like, stuff like that. Right. Like, uh, like I don't know. Just to me, that's like, if shit's happening in, in real life, I don't need to be right there recording it because, you know, how we were raised, it's like, Ooh, that's, that's like you're fucking putting it out there for what the fuck. Like, don't right. really need to see that shit. But a lot like, of people you know, do that. Like, that's why I don't, I, I'm not, like, my brain doesn't click to be like, oh, make a story. Oh, do this. Right. That's just being honest. Like, it's happening. Like, whatever is happening, you know? Yeah. And then, like. It's funny because like I'm stupid because I do it like to the most boring as shit. I'll take a fucking picture. I'll take the most boring fucking picture. Or the I have like the most boring fucking story. But for those who know me, they know, they know my life is cracking. Like my, like all kinds of shit is happening in my life. Like cracking. Like fun ass shit too. Like like we'll fucking end up here and start there and fucking it's all crazy. Release the cracking. Uh huh. So seen any good movies lately? Or any scary movies? Did you see Halloween? Please tell me you saw it. The new one? The new one? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. But I, I didn't even know there was a new one. Damn. Bro, so I'm going to watch it tonight. Watch. I feel disrespected. Why? I because watched the Malignant. That was a whack. I don't like it. The who? Malignant. Oh, is that like that Disney type of shit? No, no, no. Malignant is a, that's magnificent, but hey, you can't lie. Angelina Jolie looked like a fucking goddess in that bitch. For reals? Yeah. Would you clap them cheeks? And she looked like a horny bitch. With that nah, I mean. <laughs> would, you cl would you clap them cheeks? Angelina Jolie? Mm -hmm. I'll nut in them cheeks. And on them. Palavra. Palavra. <laughs> Damn, Angelina Jolie. If you're watching, I know you're not fucking watching, but uh -huh. Brad Pitt don't stand a chance nope. with Cool Joe. Mm -hmm. Neither does uh, who, who was that old bastard that was with her? Remember Alex? With Angelina oh. Jolie? Her uh, dad? He, he looked like a fucking dad. He he did a movie called Sling Blade. Sling Blade. Yeah. I've seen that movie, but not, I haven't seen it. I've seen the cover though. Yeah, yeah. He's an old ass dude, but they were married to each other. And then she ended up drop kicking his ass and then divorcing him. Damn. But um, yeah, Angeline Jolene. I never thought she looked good, bro. Okay, I'll get all up in them three pies. Nah, I mean. Big time. But yeah, dude, um, I don't know. I never thought. The only female that I actually went like crazy for in one movie, Selma Hayek, Dust Till Dawn. Oh, yeah. That's a baddie right there. Yeah. That, that's a baby mama. Yeah. But that's if, potentially a baby mama. If you're a couple. You get her, you nutting her. If you're a couple and you went to go see that at the movies, guarantee you your man whacked off to her in the yep, fucking bathroom. Yep, yep. Guarantee you. I've seen that movie. She's bad with her hair blowing in the wind, all sexy. Yeah, and shit. It's bro. all like, it's kind of curly, but it's not cur that much curly. And right, it's right. And then Quentin Tarantino had her fucking toes in his mouth. That lucky motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. He's on the Harvard, too, on her. Yeah. No, that's why. We got that charm. He got that toes thing. Mm, and she got that 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 hot toe lick. <laughs> if, if, if your man hasn't licked your toes, it's because you're probably nasty and they're dirty, or he just ain't kinky. No, yeah, he ain't from the hot. No, so <laughs> probably smell like cheese. Hmm. But anyways, um, what I was gonna say is, uh, uh Angelina Jolie's, uh, the guy you're talking about is Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, that dickhead. Oh, that fool. Yeah, she. Yeah. He Billy smashed. Bob Thornton. That's fucking um. He smashed. Yeah, he's. That's smashed. fucking longest yard, ain't it? I don't know. That's the head from the longest yard. No, right? no, you're talking about Burt Reynolds. Oh, yeah, Who the fuck no, is it, it's all right though. He just smashed for three years. It's all right. Yeah. Oh well, he still a smashed. Of, that's a lot of smacking though. I wonder if he got the chicloso. Hold on. <laughs> if he had, if he was from the high, he did. But if he ain't from the high, he didn't get he no did, chicloso. No, he didn't get no chicloso. So, yeah. If you guys uh, don't know what chicloso is, Google, go on uh, uh, Cujo's Google, and they're all, all the slang words are there. <laughs> 
chicloso lover, the chicloso yeah, yeah, sorcerer, the, the chicloso fucking king. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the chicloso liquor. Huh. Yeah. So yes, the, get your chicloso shirt. The pucker sucker. The, the balloon knot. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even buzzed yet. Okay. Um, the, hey, hey, um, Alex, who, who, what is the percentage to that um, that question? 62% out of 118 votes said that they're not vaccinated. See? You motherfuckers are going to lose business. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You're going to get fired. See, here's what happened. I walked into the mariscos. No tienen la tarjeta de la vacuna? Like, the, do I have the card for my vaccination? I don't have that shit. So I walked out. The manager comes back out. It's okay. You can eat in. Like, no, no. They wanted my motherfucking money. So all you guys that own businesses and you guys are going to play by these rules, you guys are going to go broke. This is how you overthrow the government. You just don't do it. As a, as a group of people, we just don't do it. And they, ha- they we force them to have to. Not that we're trying to encourage you. but it's like uh, a fucking hunger but, strike. But what's, what's like, going to happen? Want something to happen. You guys got to band together and make that shit happen. What's going to happen? They're going to put people in jail? Like, or exactly. what? Like, you're going to get a ticket? Or what's going to happen? Like, little kids are going to be all fucked and shit. Like, fuck. Right? Can, you imagine, me. can you imagine you go to bed with your girl? And you're like, yeah, baby, I just showered up. My dick's on hard. And she goes, let me see your card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dick slap that bitch. Like fucking Sammy Sosa. I'll be like, bitch, what are you talking about a card, bitch? This is a jack move. <laughs> you're, just, you're no different than a drunk driver. Huh. Bitch, I am drunk. I'm a bitch, you damn right. <laughs> you motherfucking right. You know that? Okay. <laughs> Halloween movie, I thought was Halloween Kills was great. I don't care what fuck. Oh, I thought it was kind of stupid. It's because you fucking saw it on a fire stick. Hmm. Or you're stupid. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Halloween Kills is the shit. I like Halloween. That's it. I'm a Michael Myers fanatic. Um, um, I still have something on my bucket list. that I'm trying to smash cheeks wearing a Michael Myers mask. I have smashed cheeks, and then I turned into a Michael Myers mask. That's how no I got after I came. So you stabbed? I stabbed, dude. And, then, and I did it to the pizza. Either that, or you have her wear the mask. You know I what I'm saying? I feel like I'm fucking William Shatner and shit. Isn't yeah. that the fucking mask that it was made of, William Shatner? Yeah, but take one for the team. I've done my fucking share of that shit, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to take one for my fucking team now. Yeah, well, you know, Michael Myers is a little different. You got One time I was a fucking Gordon and I had to take three for the team. I would. She counted as three. That bitch was big. That bitch looked like Godzilla's baby. Godzuki. Nah. Uh, yeah. So. Gartota. Here's how you know, and I, we're not making fun of big girls. We're not. No. But this is just his personal That's what experience. Every girl from the fatty. Yeah. <laughs> That's just his personal experience. We're not trying to dog anybody, but. Here's the crazy part. When the girl, when the fine girls bring a friend, we're bringing a friend. How does she look? She's cool. Huh? <laughs> She's nice. That's all they say. She has a nice personality. Yeah. How big is she? That's what you need to ask next. I just be praying and shit like, oh, fool. Let's pray, fool. Yeah, because yeah, because she walks in and smelling like she works at a body shop. Huh. Yeah. Bitch is fucking tall and Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, yeah. The homies want me to take her down. Yeah, if she's wearing chanclas, size 13s. Nah, homie. Size 13, homie. She's going to be talking like that and shit. You're ready, no, bitch. Size 13. If she's already in her second 40, run. <laughs> uh, so I, I remember one time, this girl wasn't fat, though. I was at a party, young mm-hmm. as fuck. And I seen this fucking little petite girl uh-huh. pounding fucking four locals. Fool, like that shit was water. Damn. I didn't know whether to be turned on. Or to be like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Or to be scared. But yeah. I did make out with her. For real? Yeah. She a good kisser? Nah, sloppy. She would have been. She would been good at kissing something else. Let's put it that way. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, no. On the cheek. Yeah. But not not this cheek. These cheeks. These okay? cheeks. No, I mean. No. But she probably would have made her way to the cheek close. I would have had a slapper. <laughs> that was my next question. Okay, that's my next question. Um, here's my thing. Trick daddy. Was on that drink champ. I hardly ever watched drink champ. I heard champ. something about that. I'm curious to hear what you guys say. So, Trick Daddy was fucking drunk, and he admitted that you know girls be eating out his ass. Okay, and he admitted it. Okay, go to drink champ. So go to their page. I heard about that. And they said, wait, 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 wait. They eat your ass. You go, yeah, they eat your ass. He was fucking drunk. Yeah, they eat my ass. And homeboy, Nori, Nori said, 
Like, well, I mean, do you like open up your legs or something? He goes, sometimes it all depends. I feel like if you're gonna get your ass ate, I mean, I've never ha- ever had it. Like, I swear to God. And tell the truth. I'm telling the truth. But if there's like ways to like manly ways to like get your shit ate, I guess. <laughs> there is. You don't no sprawl out like a fucking to... porn star hyena. <laughs> right. Fucking over here sprawling like he's fucking like he's Linda Lovelace and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about all that, bro. Fuck. I don't know about all that. Getting your chicloso licked. So you've never had your chicloso licked? Never. Okay. The, Gucci, the Gucci is pretty good though. Like, but I'm okay with that. It's like it's like it's like when they say I like to get buzzed, not drunk. Uh huh. The Gucci is cool, fool. Okay. But and, and, you know if they start scoring too much more than that, you know I got a donkey punch a bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well. Wow. Okay. No, me neither. <laughs> wow. Me neither, and I'm not cool with that. I don't get it. But some people like it. Some people like the old trick daddy. To me, it's nasty because then they want to kiss and shit. After you know how hyenas are, like after they go, they're all fucking lovey dovey. After you fucking, you know what I mean? They're like laying on your shit, like yeah, babe, you can kiss me. Like fuck that shit, you fucking brown mouth bitch. <laughs> 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 fucking caca bread. Caca bread. Watch your caca bread. Your breath smells like chonies. Watch your pantas and your fucking mouth, bitch. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that, that shit. I mean, you, you know, you know, it's funny. Okay, my brother's the one that taught me about that when he was staying with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, good old Spice guy. Okay. <laughs> that guy told me one day, have you ever been rimmed? What? Rimmed? I'm like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I thought he was talking about, you know, a girl sucking your cock or something. Maybe it was just a half fancy name. You don't want to, when a girl looks at you close, and I'm like, nah, dude. You ought to try it. Don't like it till you try it. Nah, dude. Nah, nah. That shit ain't happening, bro. But, don't sad to say, there are some girls that did it, it to oh him. Several girls, and I heard so. so oh, several. and I see what he be eating. I feel bad for them hyenas. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so some girls like to rim. I mean, I don't know if we. No, we're not even going to ask that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Okay, so now, and he's the, the one that actually taught me about the word cuck. We talked about that the first Isn't time. Isn't that when someone's watching you fuck your hyena or some? Or you're watching no. some fool fuck your lady? Yeah, the dudes get off I'll on kill that. that fool, dog. It okay. What you get that for? But you, you know, and, and I think he said the origins came out of Europe. Didn't it you say? Yeah. Okay. What for? Like, who's no, actually no, like that shit? Oh, no. It, it comes from because uh, uh, the cuckoo bird, he lo- goes and lays his eggs in another bird's nest. Yeah, so you go That's lay your eggs. And somehow, cuckoo bird got watered down to cuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it went. So, you know, okay. You know what? And there, there's honest guys right now watching. Like, I will, I will fuck your hyena, fool, if you watch. But I'm not going to be the fool watching somebody fuck my hyena. Right, okay. But I would love to fuck. If your hyena's bad, I would love to fuck your hyena while you watch. Okay, what I if a guy told you, what if a guy told you, Alex, ask, is there any cucks on the live chat? Because there's some dudes that say yes. There are dudes that say yes. And, and hey, if that floats your boat. And, and even then, if I have homies that will... Be right after I'm done. The, you, you, the, the show can go on, bro. Yeah, exactly. The show can keep going on. Yeah. Oh, now, 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 what if he's? What but if the guy? I'm a fucker first. Yeah. yeah, but what if he said, I'll, "I'll let you smash, but I gotta be the standing butt naked, jerking off, watching you guys." I don't give a fuck for it. Damn. Yeah. Nah. Go ahead. Nah. Go there. <laughs> right, we'll just turn this way. I ain't gotta look at this fool. Nah, bro. He ain't jerking off to me. He's jerking off to her. Nah, I'm he not even. Bite me. I'm not even drunk, so I'm asking. But can you imagine that guy telling you? Kuju, I think you have a nice nalgas. <laughs> Let the smash it continue. Yeah, so, hey, if you think this is too dirty, go ahead and log off. Because we're just getting started. I haven't even started fucking drinking. But uh, on, on the live chat, we're putting on, is there any cucks out there? Okay. Um, mm-hmm. but a yeah. girl told me that, though. A girl told you what? If she said I had nice nalgas, I'd be like, subscribe to yeah, that's, fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kuju you at only fans. Ass. So, did you ask Alex? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, there, there are dudes hey, out there. I'm gonna fuck like three highness this weekend. Wow. Yeah, for some reason, uh, some guys get off on that, bro, and they're like, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. that's just crazy. You know what? It's probably a confidence thing. It's probably like that he feels he can't fuck his hyena good. So he's probably like, let me just watch, like in real life, some fool fuck my hyena who I love, and she, I care about her. It's like those little fools that get their hearts slipped on, little bitch ass fools, like, I yeah. care about her pleasure, not mine. You know what I mean? Simple fuck that shit. Get yours, and she needs to just understand, or it just ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You, you, most cucks are mandelones, meaning the woman wears the pants yeah. in the relationship. Yes, exactly. So if you're a mandelon, most likely. I'm going to fuck your wife. 
You might be a cuck. And I'm a charge. Yeah, you might be a cuck for dinner. Speaking of dinner, how was your lasagna? It was bomb. It was really good. I'm yeah. my last bite, actually. Did, did you try the salad? I'm about to. I'm full, kind of, but I'm going to wait. Because so, you know how we start drinking and talking? I'm going to get hungry again. Yeah. And I'm okay. Gonna fuck. Okay, that'll work. Oh, by the way, does anybody know if the Dodgers won? Because I think the Dodgers, you know, as a matter of fact, let me check the score right now. Because I know the Dodgers were winning, I think, 6 2. So What's the title? 2 2 right now? Someone said more about Cujo's now. <laughs> oh, it's 11 2, Dodgers. <laughs> Damn, we're mopping them pools up. So, yeah. That's a wrap. That's Hopefully, a wrap. yeah, no, it's a wrap. No okay, what did they say about Cujo? What did they say about my friend? <laughs> they like my ass. Oh, yeah. they like They, they like want to know more about his now. Okay, they want to know. See, there's cuts out there. Okay, they like watching you go up and down. You know what I'm saying? So I got buns of steel. Just know that. Shay. Yeah, yeah. So now, um, are you still doing that sweating to the oldies thing videotape you said, mm. where where somebody emails you music and you 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 work out to their music and you sweat and then you send the video back to them? I never said that I was gonna do that. <laughs> that's that's a, not a bad idea. Huh, that's the new OnlyFans. Mm. That's the new OnlyFans. Hey. Oh, I love you, Mija. <laughs> Send that shit back. Yeah, exactly. No, no, but dudes. Nah, never. Okay. First uh, hypothetical scenario. Say you meet a girl online. Say you're single and you meet a girl online. Bomb. She looks like, you know, just a nice Coke bottle body. Everything you want in a female. Mm -hmm. Talk to her on the phone. She is a woman. Hold on. L let me just continue She's to finish. man, watch. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You guys talk on the phone. Hola, Cujo, como estas? Blah, blah, blah. You guys go out to dinner. You hold her hand. She's all woman. Okay. Okay? You guys make out everything. Uh, after six months, you want to finally smash. That's you, a long time. I know. I know it's a long time, but she's making you wait because there's a reason. She tells you, I love you. You tell her, I love you. And then she says, okay, I'm going to let you smash, but I got to tell you something. And then you said, what's that? And she goes, I'm a man. Don't do it. Oh, my God. I'd probably kill her. Him. I go to jail, fool. I go to like the pier or something, and I'll fucking bust a puppet on that bitch. Like, just don't, look, don't at look at me. Don't fucking say nothing. Don't look at me. And they kick her ass off the his ass off the fucking pier. That shit, that shit will end up on Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> Today, Cujo's on America's Most Wanted. We're looking for him all in the harbor area. Um, he killed a fucking she male. Yeah. Or should we say a male? Fucking, nah, I'm just saying. No, nah, but. No, nah, I've heard that shit happen to people, fool. No, I know. It has that happened. Shit's, that shit's never happened to me, and it won't because I, you know. But can you I need to see the goods after like the second date and but shit. But can you deny the feelings that you had for her, her him? Fucking <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck. Tony wants me to slip up. Hey, hey, you know what's crazy, man? Like, like, let me say this. In case one of you guys are out there like that, and you guys are watching, don't do that to anybody. Don't do that because there are some dudes that fall for that, bro. That fall for that. And then you know what happens when they, not us, but when they get violent on you, then you want to say, you know what, sexual. Sex crime. Yeah, emotion. whatever. You know, don't do not do that. But whatever. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay, now what if. That's crazy. That would never happen to me. Now what if you I said, see I used to be a man. After the second date. Okay. Yeah, well, but, I didn't even know what it tastes like, Tony. Okay. I didn't know what it smells like, what it tastes like, where it came from, what the fuck, uh, you know what I mean? How how many miles it has? Yeah. Is there any dents inside the body, on in the interior? Um, where the fucking driver stick in the interior is located? Um, shit. All right. I'm, I'm straight up saying. You know one oh, thing. Yeah, I, never to me. One thing I, I learned about hoes is this, and I'm talking about hoes, not women. I'm I talking like about hoes. Have bigger clits than not hoes. Really? I swear. I think. Okay, you say you think so. You I've seen their shit is like a fucking third eye, just like it's like a little like pito staring right at you, dog. That's like God damn. It's but like a little pito. I know that our hoes, their shit is like, like hey, little buddy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? It's like it's like you know it's like normal. And yeah, shit. but maybe you gotta break it in. That shit's already been like broken in, and now it's like exposed. That's what it looks like. I think. Okay, I'm talking to hoes, not These the These aren't like that much of a hoe, but they're pretty hoish. Okay, hoish. Yeah. Okay, now, one thing about being a hoe that that's like having a felony on your record. It, 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 it's going to stick with you forever, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, there's a lot of hoes out there that are trying to move to different states because their their reputation is shot. Like they done went through barrios. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They were on tour, on a Chicano uh -huh. rap tour. 
So I know a couple of them. <laughs> Texas, here I come. Yeah, okay. some want to go to Seattle or some oh. shit like that. So, yeah, but like they did damage, and and they know, and and there's a lot of women out there that have fetish for men that are taken yes. or men that are married. Yep. That I is could, a true yeah. thing. Hannah's like that. Guys, too. Yeah, yeah. And then when you confront those hoes, you know what they put on social media? Your man was all in my DM, bitch. If you knew he was taken, why are yeah. you talking to him? I mean, shit. I don't, I don't mind. But nah. <laughs> nah, why but are you nah, talking hey, to him? Hey, even then, fool, like, I know people, I know guys, too, they do that shit. They get a fetish out of that shit. Out of what? Like, fucking, uh, like, you're trying to get at, like, fool's hyenas and shit, like, on the low low. Uh-huh. And then I also know fools who like fucking fools like like their baby mamas and shit. They get a fucking kick out of that. Okay, now now I, like the, the laughing at somebody thing. Right. Being able to do that. That's that. I know okay. fools that like to do that too. S- just hypothetical. Say, to say we know a guy me. named Joe, and he's mm-hmm. got a girl named Martha, whatever, or Vanessa, mm-hmm. or whatever name you want to fucking give her. And let's just say that Joe's friend is trying to get with his lady. Okay. And he ends up fucking her. Okay. Here's my question. Who should he out. have the beef with first? Both. Beat her ass too. But here's my <laughs> thing though. He, he, here's my thing though. She could have said no. Exactly. That's why she getting, she getting the sec, second she, round check. Yeah, she could have said no. Uh-huh. You know? and But he also knew. Now let's just say the guy didn't know okay, he that she was shot. taken. He gets shot. Okay, what if he didn't she know? The what if he didn't know she was taken though? Well, he's a homie, right? Of course. No, no, no. Okay, uh, uh, a different scenario oh, now. Well, are you guys friends? No, you don't even know the oh, guy. Well, then I mean, that's just like that's you don't normal. Even... But I mean, you can still okay. He still gets a whooping though. He's just a civilian. Yeah, yeah. He still gets a whooping though. He still gets a whooping just in case he th- wants to ever laugh in the future. You already whooped him for it. So, yeah, I, I would but give like, him that. But like, but like, he doesn't get shot. But like, the main pedal is, is with her. Huh? But the main pedal is with her. Yes. Because she was over there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. She gets pistol whipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, well, I never told him because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So, you know, I don't know. With me, I'll just be like, well, I mean, it's different with me. If I was like a regular fool. Right. Okay, well, you know, you know how it is when you're in the music industry. It's kind of like girls, how girls have like a bunch of choices and shit. Same thing for us. Right. In the music industry. Yeah, we, we have that. Like, so for me, I will be hot. It depends who it is, though. Like, if it was my baby mama, I'm killing that fool. Yeah. But if, like, you know, if it's not my baby mama and it's somebody else. Some side trick. Yeah, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'll be like, I'll be like, damn, feed me. I, I'll probably do something funny. Like, I'll probably, right. like, I'll probably fuck her one last time and, like, do some funny shit, record it, and fucking show the homies. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm more like, okay, cool. Like, damn, like, that's crazy. Like, whatever, cool. I'll be mad that she made me look stupid. I might get down with the fool if I see him. But that's if I... I, I you can't, though. Because then you look like you're fucking love struck. You have to be like... Oh, you're man, jealous. Like, yeah. Yeah, you got to be like, oh, man, fuck it. Hey, fuck these hoes in my boy. Like, you know, you got to be like, fuck it. These hoes are for everybody. I had some crackhead tell me this years ago. His name was Clucker Joe. <laughs> Clucker Joe. <laughs> Clucker Joe. And he told me like this. When you're with the hoe. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. He was trying to sound very like... Like if he was a philosopher or something. When you're with the hoe. Always remember. It's not your pussy. It's just your turn. <laughs> Facts. Facts. So yeah, you, you cannot you get, get mad. mad. You can't fool like. I mean, you could, but like, just don't show it, like, or don't react on it because it makes you look weak. Fool makes you look weak minded, like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? But if it's like someone righteous as fuck that you care about, right, that's right, wrong, that, that's you know different. I mean? That's different. But if she knew how much you cared about her, she wouldn't be doing uh, exactly. that. Exactly. But some girls still do because they love cheating. But yeah, so do, that's so do what guys. Girl, some girls get a kick out of it. They, they're yeah. like guys. They want to have like multiple like, ooh, 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 I got, I got niggas. I got fools. Like, you know? I got multiple kids knocks. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Now. Um, and he bought me the day after pill. I didn't have to buy it. Exactly. <laughs> and I drank a four locals uh, with him. And, now and he bought my fucking food. I was hungry yesterday, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Alex, uh, um, give us the cook results. 85 talk, votes. Talk closer. 85 votes. And... Um, 89% said that they're not cooks, but 11% said they are. See? <laughs> you have 11%. Per- hey, you know what? Bravo for being honest. Bravo. That's right. Bravo. So, <laughs> hey, you got to respect at least that we're honest. Don't hide it. You know, divide it. So, um, hey, okay. send us a video to prove it of your hand getting boned. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't believe you. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, Alex, on the live chat, ask this. Um, how many of you would give your girl a weekend pass. 
But do you get one back? No, I, well, th that's next. And it's a fair, okay. Is it, is it with whom you choose or who they choose? No, just whoever she meets at a bar. I'm going to ask, would you give your partner a weekend pass? Is there any money involved? No, there's no, just cachetes, just cheeks. Oh, just to be a nice guy? Yeah, like, like. Fuck that. <laughs> hey, what's up there, Tom? You want to fucking fuck bang my wife and shit? Sure. Uh, yeah, man. Sure, Clyde. You know, just, hey, she's been being a real good wife at home. You know, just, you know, I feel like she really needs that drilling. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that. I'll have to give her my corn. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but you'll be surprised that how many dudes, yeah, I'll give her a fucking pass. Fuck, you know? no. If she comes home and takes a shower right away, yeah, oh yeah, she got boned. Yeah. If she don't come home that night, she's doing something. Think so? Yep. What if she tells you, I lost service on my phone and I couldn't pick up? I don't give up. a fuck, bitch. You, uh, you, you were with someone, who were you with? With your homegirl? You should have called me off her phone, bitch. You feel like you don't know my fucking number by heart. And, no. if you're, and if you weren't, then who were you with? And then they can't answer, like, it's not you, you're tripping. And you're with the guy. Right. You think so? And then they get the belt. Uh, Alex, uh, bring me two beers, Pacificos, and the tequila bottle, please. It's time to turn shit up. Huh. So, yeah. Okay. But you'll be surprised how many people would actually vote. I don't think we've ever actually ever covered these kind of subjects before. Only when I'm here. Yeah, but I'm glad because you know what? Whenever I have, and who's willing, a girl guest, I'm going to ask her some of that shit. Can you imagine if the girl goes, yeah, I get hall passes all the time, you know? Like to her vato? No, to herself. Like, I get them. Usually, if, if a guy gives out passes, they're usually mandalone. They get told what to do. Yeah, they're like pussy boys, fuck boys. Cucks. Yeah. They're, they're on, she's only with them for one thing, money, and that's really about it. Yeah, the house or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. Well, what was another one that my brother taught me? Um, I forgot. But anyways, um, here's another hypothetical scenario, okay? Mm -hmm. You're on your way to a show, but... It was a last minute show. You hop in your car, you take off. You're driving through Bakersfield. You get a fucking flat tire. You pull over. Nothing but fucking cornfields on both sides. Yeah. Okay. It's dark as fuck. You can barely see your hand in front of your fucking face. And the only light you have is from your cell phone that only has 10% left. Ooh, I've been in shit like that before. Okay. So now you got to change your tire. So you put your, your, your uh, phone last the tire and you're changing it mm -hmm. you jack it up and you okay mm -hmm. all of a sudden from a distance you hear hell you know like, what the fuck is that i probably laugh like oh somebody's sneezing and shit okay and then all of a sudden whoo, a cross goes up in flames a cross uh-huh and then and as you look you see about a hundred white robe wearing kkk motherfuckers Walking towards you in the middle of the fucking street. Well, what? what's up there, Johnny? <laughs> How you been? I ain't seen you in a long ass time there, Daddy. <laughs> you know, I got me a flat. I was driving my tractor, but, you know, I had to pull out the fucking Cadillac for today. And I got me a flat. Can one of you motherfuckers help me right quick? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be honest, man. Would That's you what I would do. Okay, so you wouldn't run? No. All right. They're going to fucking catch you. All right. Get down with them or fucking say some funny shit to break the fucking ice like you're fucking white. I'm oh. like, all this dark hair? Oh, man. I'll tell you what about the dark hair, man. I mean, you know, I went to the store. And I got some shit and my fucking wife just thought it'd be funny to prank me and make me look like a beaner. But I'm, re <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really a blonde. Uh, yeah, but I'm really, you know, blonde I'm under this motherfucker right here, boy. I'll tell you. What if he said, okay, then throw on a sheet and let's go? Do it. Let's do it. But can you fix my car first? You fix my car, I can drive to where you are, and I will take it. So they I'll help you. I'll fucking bone the fuck out. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Racist motherfuckers. Fuck that. Do you think I would just play the part to get my shit fixed. Do you think Trump was a part of the KKK? I don't know. I don't know. All right. I don't know. I, I, I think he is racist, though. I mean, just off everybody, like the, uh, the shit he says, you know what I mean? Okay, you were a Raiders fan, right? Or mm -hmm. no? John Gruden, they found emails from 11 years ago. Like, who keeps 11-year-old emails? Right. They were black waiting to blackmail him. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. I mean, I don't know if he said what he said. I don't know that. And I, I, didn't, I didn't fucking read the emails, and I don't know if anybody's ever read the emails, but they're only telling us what supposedly they said, or he said, or she said. 
So, I don't know, man. You know what? But it, it just sounds funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sounds weird. But uh, Alex, do me a favor. Uh, get, hand me the, the the bottle opener. I forgot to get the bottle opener. The Spencer. And I'm going to pull out my Michael Myers shot glass because it's Halloween. Okay? So you got your salad right there. I'm going to try. Yeah. The dressing is really, really good, bro. And I got my pumpkin bottle opener. Okay? So don't ever fucking doubt that I'm out for Halloween. Don't you ever fucking doubt me. So, anyways. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, you know what? I'll tell you what. On the live chat, go ahead and put um, who do you guys want to see dining with the wizard. And I'll try to make it happen for you guys. Um, th now, that question. Um, give us the results so far. Uh, would you give your partner a weekend pass? Um, 72 votes. 8% said yes. See? 92% said no. That 8%, that would be fucking related to Hugh Hefner or some shit. That's when you're tripping Now, do you think Hugh Hefner was the jealous dude? Nah. No way. Fuck no. He had too much Chiclosa walking around. Mm -hmm. So, so, Alex, a a a anything you want me to ask Cujo? Um, nothing off the top of my head it's right good. now. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Dominic's everybody in the city of Carson, right there, the train tracks off of Avalon, right there. They're closer to Poly Avalon and Sepulveda. It doesn't taste like leaves, fool. Yeah. It tastes like salad. Yeah, it tastes like salad. Dominic's is, is the shiznit. I've been going there since I've been a kid. Tell them, Tony A. saying you give them the promo code Rodeo Radio, uh, and uh, they'll give you a 20% discount. And I'm only playing. So, okay. Um, I know you said you watch Netflix. Anything else good? Like, do, do you get... Okay, I know your, your son. Are you going to dress him up for Halloween? And, and if you, you are, what are you going to dress him up as? I don't know yet, but... Oh, I know I'm dressing him up, but... Well, okay. We're dressing up, but I don't know with what yet. My I want to do Buzz, but I don't know if she wants to do my, that. My, my grandbabies, uh, one of them is going to be, not Spider-Man, but Piderman. That's the way he pronounces it. Piderman, Grandpa. So, Piderman? Okay, okay, mijo. And the other one wants to be the Hulk. So, Piderman... He was Hulk last and year. And the Hulk. Oh, think, for real? Yeah, I think two years ago he was old. Okay. Now, here's my thing. Now, believe me, I don't say nothing wrong with babies because babies come first, okay? But as we get older, maybe elementary, middle school, when you dress up for Halloween, Halloween is supposed to be scary shit. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be a princess or a fairy. And I get it when little girls do that and they look beautiful, believe me. But it's supposed to be scary, though. Yeah, like she's supposed to be a little fucking witch or something. Exactly. Exactly. So now... um, Speaking of a witch, uh, I know we're going to be all over the place with this, but let me ask you this. Do you believe in voodoo? Do you, like, do you believe that somebody could put a curse on you? Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, whoever has um, Cujo's voodoo doll, lick his booty real quick. <laughs> so that's what it feels like. Okay. Uh, but, um, um, so when, when can we expect your... Um, for you to reveal what you're going to be for Halloween. I'm a dick all year long, so I don't see the point of changing now. Just put the hoodie on it. That'll be your Jimmy hat. Mm-hmm. Condom tape. I'll put a beanie on and like, how do... Hey, 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 what is the most, um, like, the weirdest costume you've ever seen? Or, or uh, Alex, the, c c uh, uh, chime in on this one. I've seen a fucking kangaroo, bitch. And her fucking kid was a little kangaroo. For reals? I'm like, how the fuck... Does that work? Hmm. Like, what's he sitting on when you're walking around? Hmm. I guess they probably got the strap on or something. I saw one. I didn't know whether to take it offensive or just a trip out or maybe both. Somebody was dressed as a pregnant nun. <laughs> super freak. Super freak. She's super freaky. I don't know what's happening, huh? What's happening, mama? We're good. <laughs> I'm God too, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's I get off of that. All the time, man. Yeah, Alex, what's your weirdest? Um, the weirdest costume I ever seen was um, I seen a guy dressed as a box of cigarettes. You Are know, you serious? Like, yeah, it was like a whole cardboard thing, and he was like marble That's red. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> it was like marble reds. And shit. No, you're not gonna like that <laughs> motherfucker up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that in your ear. I'm fucking with you because he said box of cigarettes. Anyways, uh, damn, that motherfucker smelled, huh? Some frills. Some bomb, you know? 
Some cools. <laughs> Some frajos. Okay, Alex, are you going to dress up for Halloween? No. I'm going to be Michael Myers again because I'm going to set up my backyard over here. Uh, and I'm going to be giving out candies. So if you want to bring your, I'm gonna, my, my grandbabies, they're going to be giving away candies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be Michael Myers again. I like to scare people. I like Halloween. You know, I like, like I said, I like, that's my weekend. Imagine that Tony's one of those people, those people that take it too far and just start chasing your kid down the alley. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Full sprint and shit. <sighs> Breathing inside the mask. <sighs> <sighs> okay, did, did we ask another question? Oh no! Uh, no, we haven't. Okay, um, let's ask him a Halloween question since this is the season uh, uh, to be spooky. Um, how many of you guys are into Halloween? Something like that. Okay. You know, I'm gonna go from there. Uh, let me see something really fast. Kujo, anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to talk about? Mm, I mean, there's some crazy costumes, man. Like what? All kinds, man. I be seeing like they're, they're actually really stepping their shit up like every year. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? You know what? New scary movies are coming out. There's a, there's one called um, uh, what's it called? Um, something like the Black Phone, like the the Black Phone or some shit like that. And then there's they're coming out with Scream, another Scream. I want to see that. That one looked actually pretty damn good. So um, check that out. And when you guys go see these good movies, go to a movie theater. Spend your eighty dollars on a hot dog it's and popcorn. It's all about the vibe. Cold. It's all about the yeah feeling. You know. Yeah, because you know. If you don't, and you watch it in the fucking fire stick, your old lady's gonna be walking around, you know. Fucking kids crying and shit. Exactly. You have to walk off, fucking go change the diaper. Like You're gonna be like, shit up, bitch. I'm trying to watch the fucking movie. Uh, damn it, man. Yeah. You know what, Margaret? Huh. Go fix me a fucking turkey pot pie. Huh. While I'm watching huh. The Terminator. And I want black pepper. <laughs> God. Okay. Controversial uh, a question. How do you feel about people who are not raza but dress up like cholos for Halloween? Mm, I think it's disrespectful, kind of. Okay. That's like us dressing up as... A different culture. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play it safe because I don't want nobody to get their panties in a bunch. Yeah, no, it's, 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 to me, it's, I mean, hmm, everyone feels different, but I find it a little bit disrespectful. It's like, so we're like a fucking costume to you. Like yeah. We're, we're like a... Or like something funny. I mean, yeah, because look, if we dress like somebody else's culture, they, they will say that's racist. Mm -hmm. But whenever they dress like our culture. Mm -hmm. It's something funny. It's something like, oh, yeah, party, fucking get drunk, dress up like a fucking borracho. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Or dress up like a fucking homie and fucking it's like, motherfuckers die over that shit. Fool. That's a real shit. That's a real culture. But people die for that shit. Or if you dress Painting like. in the fucking fake ass. To yeah, your jobs exactly. And, and, and the fucking maybe the local, you know what I mean? All I mean, that shit's like. Like you said, you could see it two ways. Some people could see it as, look, they're just trying to make fun of it, which you shouldn't be. Or if you really dress like that and somebody mistakes you and blasts your motherfucking mm -hmm. ass, you're taking a fucking chance. That's what I seen. I seen on, um, I think it was Instagram, whatever. There was some fool and he put the fucking campo on him. And he was a white boy, like, mm -hmm. from like fucking Montana. And he had the fucking, like, the, the two lines with the three dollars. You know what I mean? He had yeah. that, like, it's like, that, that shit is, like, something meaningful out here, fool. Like, you don't even know what you just put on you, fool. Like, that shit's crazy. Like, they, they, they just see, like, like, what's online, and they probably look it up, and they copy it or whatever. But, right. I mean, I get it, but on that issue, with that question, I feel like they should do more research or, you know. Yeah, that shit out. means something to us. Like, we grew up in that. Like, well, that's, that's everything. People died over that. That's yeah, like, people have died over that, and will probably continue to die over that culture so yeah yeah for you to dress up for one night like that and, and not even do it right you know what i mean do it like right. all fucking corny too you know and then be talking like that like I, i've been at like parties and like and like you know i've been at like you know like rooftop parties and shit and i've seen people and it's like a white bitch is like what's up homes like like yeah, ah, yeah. like five even went to arizona one time like hey ac yeah I, I went to arizona one time and like like just like the straight out of compton that came out okay and everybody was rocking like LA Dodger shit and Compton shirts and like I was just like, this shit is weird, homie. Like, yeah, like, like Compton's a motherfucking ghetto, and you guys are, are like, if I this is the word Hollywoodizing it. Yeah, like you know. Well, I mean, like shit, you know, much love and shit, you know, because like that shit's right next to my city, so right, I, know, right. I know I know what time it is over there, but like they don't, you know. It's just I'm just like looking around, like what the fuck, and they're like really like trying to do like crip walks and shit. These fucking yeah, no. these fucking kids, they look like they're from like fucking. Like Beverly Hills out here, like because they got a real, they live in fucking big old house right. over there. I'm just tripping out, and I, and the person in front of me, 
everybody had like Dodger hats, and I was like, why is everybody wearing Dodger hats and shit? Like, what the fuck? This is Arizona. Right, right. I see the full come up, like, you got the memo? And then I'm like, thinking to myself, like, memo? He goes, he goes, yeah, man, everybody's fucking wearing Dodger shit because Dr. Dre wears it in the movie. I was like, whoa. I mean, it, it, this, this is was about Compton, you know, like I said, we we know people from Compton, uh-huh. bro. We know that what that life is out there. And for somebody to glamorize it and make kind of. This shit like that, yeah. I don't know. It was like, it was like, damn, man, that shit's crazy. Yeah, it is. Oh, and it was funny. <clears throat> Swear to God. As I'm walking out the movie, there was a fucking vet that I don't know actually from Compton. Had a blasted on him, like right here, and had a Compton shirt. No shit. So I, I, as we're walking out, I see him, I'm like, what's up, my boy? And I was like, oh, you from Compton on me? He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, homie. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Gardena and well, shit. Well, saludos homie. if you're watching. And he was like, he was like, oh, Gardena, all right, that's right, homie. Like, I was like, yeah, you know, right, we're neighbors and shit. He's like, yeah, that's right. We're walking out. And then he's like, um, he's like, damn, man, look at all these fucking weird ass. He was even saying, like, look at mm-hmm. all these fucking weird ass kids. I was like, damn. If he's seen it and I seen it, then that means I was right, you know? The way no, I interpreted true. it. But that's that shit true. was crazy. Like, to them, it's not like shit. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, Alex, uh, and the results are. Um, one second. Okay. Do you enjoy Halloween was the question. Yes. Um, 54 votes, 67% said, hell yeah. 20% said, meh. Yeah. And 13% said, it's not for me. Okay. All right. Um, I had another question to, for you to ask. Um, what's another good question to ask? Mm. You know, somebody said that. Do vampires get mad when non-vampires dress like Dracula? <laughs> they probably my, do, fool. They probably get off. They probably do. They probably do. Yeah, because um, they suck. Huh? Yeah. They <laughs> suck. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, they suck. So. Hey, uh, there's a nut. They're fucking balls there. <laughs> yes, that was a dope. Yeah, you know what? It, it's funny. I fucking went to a go eat breakfast, and this one fucking broad came up to me. They sounded like she had a Transylvanian accent. Something to drink. And I was like, when the fuck are you from, Transylvania? But, but she was actually Mexican. And I was like, I wait. But she literally sounded like she could have been from over there. Something like, to drink. Something to drink. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she would have came back floating with a fucking cape. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> two, two drinks for you. <laughs> uh, okay. Say you go. Trick, say you take your son trick or treating, right? Uh-huh. And um, knock on the door, and it's a girl. That looks like Elvira. You know what? No, you oh, don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Elvira. She's fine. You put you put me up on game. Whatever. Okay. She gives your son some candy, and then your son runs off. You know, with his mama, mm-hmm. and she looks at you. And she goes, "Babe, they got some big candy in the back. I'll be right back." <laughs> They got the good shit in the back, but you know, watch him. I'll be right back. There's a line though, so I might be a little bit. So just, so, just go down to the other, other uh, to the other ones. Yeah. So you walk in, she closes the door, and she's got an old man right there whacking up. Let's go, Cujo. Okay, let me turn this way. <laughs> Yo, if, like I said, if you got the I'll be like this, hey fool, you get any closer now, I'ma fuck you up, homie. I just wanna watch Buddy. <laughs> I just wanna watch Pal. So you're already talking too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you're fucking up my concentration, huh. pal. So, no. Hey, if you, don't, you guys don't like subliminals or hypotheticals, log the fuck off. But um, <laughs> anyways, hey, did anybody put who they wanted to see? Yes. Yeah, uh, some people said uh, Little Rob, Little Weirdo, uh, Jenny Six Nine, Tony G. Oh, this but on Dining with the Wizard. Yeah, that's what it said right Should make a fucking corrido about it. No, Bobby Castro, much love, my boy. That's a homie. He's good. Yeah, he, he he's going to make me a Rodian Radio uh, corrido. That shit's tight. So, yeah, we're going to do it. That fool's a uh, beast at rapping. Okay, cool, Joe. I'm going to ask you this. And I said it here first. I don't know if anybody's thought about it. You can lie later, but I'm going to say it right now. I am going to put together a Chicano versus. Go ahead. Are, are you familiar, familiar with what that is? I don't want to see it like who's better. I don't want to do that because I'm trying to bring unity, bro. Mm-hmm. But say you do. That's going to be hard. You do yeah, five songs. Us, that's, it's always going to be like, you know how it is. Don't I, I know. I know, bro. But my intentions are good. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you do four songs. He does like, in other words, you do one song. As soon as he's done, he does another song. You do another song. And then we let the, the public, the live chat decide who, you know, who took the belt. You know, no hard feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, if the, if the people say, hey, you know what? Uh, uh, Joe Blow from Kokomo beat Cujo, you know. 
They're gonna want to turn off the comments. You can expect a diss track tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go live and expose your ass, you know. <laughs> but, but that's the, you know the sad thing is that I don't know if you saw the verse between Big Daddy Kane and KRS One. It, it was in, in yeah. New York. It just happened. Okay. Yeah. It was all fucking love, bro. Look, look. I think I, it's starting to be that. Like at first it was like, uh, but now it's starting to be. I think. Yeah, look, if I was a rapper and I knew how to rap and. My thing is like let's let's you know let, let's give them a good show. Mm -hmm. let, let's let's win some fans over. I go out there and do my shit, and then when you go out there and do your shit, that, that's some dope ass Cujo shit right there. Mm -hmm. I go out there and then you fucking applaud me. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of love I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, that's dope. You know, it's not about who's fucking better. Mm -hmm. Because look at, uh, uh, say that you may be a better rapper for for some reason. My style sells more because it's more of a catchy sing along. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make me better than you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying, bro. Yeah, no, that would be dope, man. So would you be down to do it? Yeah. I know you could fucking spit. Yeah, of course. That's fun. But only if you were cocky? Whatever. Whatever. You, I, only if I was cocky and I masturbate with a sake. <laughs> Him sake, sake. <laughs> okay. Uh, did we ask another question or no? I know I'm asking him kind of fast. So yeah, I, uh, I asked the question. I said, what do you believe in? And then the options are vampires, werewolves, UFOs, uh, or Bigfoot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another set of questions. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, 11% said they believe in vampires. 9% said they believe in werewolves. And 80% believe in UFOs. Hmm. Now, there was a guy uh, that I used to work with. He used to come up to me and goes, hey, have you seen that new vampire? And I was like, what? Yeah, uh, a, a new movie, uh, Vampire. And I was like. Oh, he's Filipino. No, no, I thought he, no, he wasn't. He was, but I know what you're talking about. I go, what? Vampire. And I go, a, a bomb fire? Yeah, you see it? And I was like, where? He goes, at the movies. And I was like, a bomb fire at the movie? He goes, yeah, uh, you know, with the teeth and he bites and a, a fucking vampire, <laughs> vampire. So he, he could say it with a B. But that's how a lot of Filipinos say that. That way, not to try to make fun of them, but I had a fucking hard enough time and understanding them, you know. And a lot of times when I don't understand somebody's like, because they have a, such a heavy accent, I'm just like, "All right, cool, man. All right, all right yeah. you got it, you got it, homie." You know? Oh, you know what I hate looking at, bro? And I'm not trying to make fun when you're talking to a guy and his eyes are this way, like he has like a cock eye. <laughs> like, I, like I don't even know where to look. <laughs> My older brother told me just look at him right here in the bridge of his nose. You know, just look at, because it would be like, you look at me, Cujo, okay? <laughs> it would be like, you looking at me, look, hold on, you look at me like this, but I'm like, listen, Cujo, like I was trying to tell you, <laughs> okay? And I would look this way, like, yeah, I know, I, I just, you know? You see, so what I want to, but anyways, <laughs> oh my God. we're not trying to make fun of nobody, but fuck, sometimes it's hard. Oh, man, I know a couple of these rappers that are cockeyed. Yeah? That's why they wear glasses all the time. <laughs> cuck eyed Or cuck eyed Yeah, cuck eyed So. Hey, fool, that fool staring off that way, masturbating to what you're doing over here. <laughs> In the studio. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So, um, anybody else you guys want to see on here, um, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, we've already had Cujo. Mm -hmm. We have already had uh, Ernie G. This is not an order. Misfit. Misfit was fucking hilarious. Uh, he was spitting, too. He was singing for us. Mr. D. Um, who am I missing? Oh, MC Wicks. My boy MC Wicks can spit too. MC Wicks can spit. Okay, I, uh, my boy from Fresno. Uh, but I had a couple of females that hit me up. They want to come on the show too. But you got to have a sense of humor. Got to drink a little bit, loosen up, and just talk. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Cujo, you believe in UFOs? I know I've asked you this, but for those that may not know who are barely watching, and I'm starting to find out who Cujo is. Do you believe in UFOs? Yep. Humanoids. Okay. Um, if they came down and said, we want to take you to our planet, Kolar. Um, <laughs> Kolar? <laughs> <laughs> so, when, you, when you say Kolar, I imagine all of them look like Spock and shit. Like, yeah. Like or we want to take you to the planet, the Pico Loyo. Uh, and um, um, we just want to study your body. You, you'll be or you'll be back in uh, it'll be three years but when you come back it'll be exactly the same time right now am I getting paid yes in gold oh hell yeah throwing that Mario Carey I'll be like touch my body 
Hell yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's that's did you guys see that? They're paying in gold. Yeah, in gold. Shit. Okay, so then you come back and you got bars of gold sitting under your fucking bed and you're like, fuck yeah. And then all of a sudden, you hear tiny footsteps walking in. Mm-hmm. Who in the fuck is that? You have the lights turned off in your room. You fucking turn on your light and it's leprechaun. I want me gold. <laughs> I'll kick that motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's my kid. You're trying to tax me. <laughs> I want me gold. Okay, who would you rather face, Chucky or, or Leprechaun? Like to, get, like to get down with? Yeah, get down with Oh, the Leprechaun way. all day. That fool ain't shit. Chucky, that motherfucker, he, he's something else. For real? Yeah. Chucky is a nice series uh, every Tuesday on Sci-Fi Channel or on the USA Channel. Uh, Chucky is a series. Pretty good. I like it. I like Chuck. I fuck with Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Let me check them. Hey, uh, Mijo, did the Dodgers win? I think they did, huh? Okay. It's tied up now? No, hell no. It's like 3-2. They were spanking. Yeah. I know, I know. Okay. Dodgers uh, are down? The, the, no, but Dodgers are down, though, 3-2. Yeah, 3-2. As far as the series. Yeah. But um, how many of you guys out there, uh, Alex, Yeah. think the Dodgers are going to pull out or win the series? I do. So... I, li- I would so. like to believe, but you know what? It almost seems, it seems, I'm not saying it is, but it almost seems like the Braves have their fucking number. Yeah, it almost seems like the Braves have their fucking number. And it's pissing me the fuck off because I'm trying to go to the World Series. You know what I'm saying? I got money in that motherfucker. Yeah, I don't want to lose, well, lose 20 I, I, bucks. I know they're down right now, but I think they're going to win. <laughs> they're the comeback kids. It's like they just had to figure out how the Braves were getting down. Now that they figured it out, they're coming for them. You think so? Mm-hmm. So should I bet $100,000? I ain't going to tell you to do that, <laughs> but, it, you know. <laughs> okay, say it goes to game seven, right? Mm-hmm. And it's in Atlanta. They're both 3-3. Three, three. Game seven. Dodgers. Hold on. I want to test your confidence right now. And you had $100,000. Would you bet I'm on the Dodgers? Yep. You fucking would? Fuck yeah. LA, baby. Now say that, say that Dodgers are winning... 7-5. But Atlanta, the bottom of the ninth, is the last ups. Base is fucking loaded. Oh, I'm betting that. hundred. I'll bet 200,000. They're not hitting that. And say that motherfucker hits a grand slam. I will be out as fast as I can get out. I'll be running my ass off. you probably be on suicide watch, huh? You just lost a hundred grand. I'll be strapped up all day long. Like just Everybody who fucking looks at me weird, I'm like... I'm like He'll be like... Huh. <laughs> And then the motherfuckers call you. Where's my money, Cujo? Wrong number. This is Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Pornhub. How can I help you? So, I, I I couldn't bet that kind of fucking money. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. And to me, it's just a sports. You know what you fuck you live on. But anyway, why are you babysitting the Hennessy, bro? Okay, you asked for it. Okay. Because I got beers. I'm trying to blow up your cheeks. That sounded so gay. D- don't, don't. <laughs> that was not the thing to say. I'm, I'm talk- trying to blow up your cheeks. Oh. Those cheeks. That's so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tony. <dirty. laughs> okay, bring it back. Come rewind. Only here on Ronin and Radio. I'm trying to. Right, this is uh, Dining with the Wizard. Fatten up your cheeks. No, that didn't even sound good either, huh? Fatten, <laughs> fatten up, up your up cheeks. Your cheeks. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyways, that's like what a tia says to their nephew because they want to pull that. Like, you need to tighten up your little cheeks and talk about Cachetón. <laughs> uh, would you ever do cumbia rap? Uh huh. Like, doom, get the doom, doom, doom. I wanted to remake um, um, Cumbia de la Cerveza. Uh, yo soy Cujo. Uh, yo soy Cujo. Uh, I know my shit will turn out better than Jenny's. Yo, so cool, Joe. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, me do it. So cool, Joe, 69. So you're 68. You do me, I owe you one. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 when you first heard that Jenny 69, did you think that's, did you think she was serious? Yeah, I just think that her writer fucked her over real good. No, she you claimed know, she wrote it. No, then that's why she needed a writer. She has to look. You don't think it's the voice? 
Nah. And if no? it is, you could you could change the tone. Out of two? Yeah. But who would Ryan? I don't even need out to. You could change the pitch. Right. Six to nine with Riverside. I mean, much love to Riverside, so we're not trying to make fun of you. We're trying to, just trying to trigger out these lyrics. Even her, like, good for her for trying to venture out. Like, right. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, she, you, you just need to fucking practice on girl and have somebody ride for you straight up. What about... You uh, got the look. That's really all that matters for a girl, to be honest. 69, Riverside. Anything other than that is, like, special. Like, if you could really rap and you're fine, like, then you're, like, you know, but, like, all you really have to be is fine and have somebody write your shit and you'll fucking go far. What about um, uh, corridos? Do you plan to do corridos? All right, all right. I mean, like, I don't mind. I love that shit, but I won't do it myself. What about, uh, like, R&B? Because you told me you were fucking R&B. Well, he, earlier, he sang to me one of his R&B songs. No, he was, I didn't. No, he, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Don't lie. He was like, Tony, tell me what do you think. He wore an extra tight shirt. He was like, girl, why'd you have to leave me this way? I'm cool, Joe. And then I switched it up. I was like, make it last forever. See, I told you guys. And ever. He goes, Tony, say that word again. Girl. Oh man! Okay, anybody dropping money on the live chat? Um, a few people dropped some money, but uh, it was way back. Okay, well we gotta give them a shout out. When you got, if you want to promote your business, if you drop anything, <laughs> we'll give you a shout out. Alex will give me tell me. I don't care if you drop a dollar. That's one cup of noodles. Fuck yeah! That's dinner for somebody. Sopa. Yeah. Um, some guy dropped five dollars oh, earlier. Five um, sopas. The his, whole week we're eating. His name is a number. So, but uh, okay, we'll say it. It's a one nine one six zero one nine one six, and he said, "What happened to the ciphers you were doing? No more." Oh, well, okay. I'm still doing them. It's just that uh, the last one I didn't like how it came out. Like it was doing good, but then the person that person right. doing the audio fucked it. It ruined everything. Okay. So okay. I'm trying to just like uh, trying to do it right. Yeah, like I mean, I know how to do it right. That's the way I wanted to do it, but they didn't want to do it that way. And it's my fault. Should have never let no one stick their hand right in, in the cookie jar. Yeah, and okay. what I was doing. What were you gonna say, Brian? As you said, they used to sing for high power. Oh, <laughs> I never sang for high power. That was her. <laughs> I, I, I believe she's joking. Oh, I was saying. <laughs> you were in the studio with me, girl. You know I wasn't singing in that bitch. I was fucking making all kinds of racket in that motherfucker. Girl, why'd you have to leave uh, me this way? <laughs> and, and, and when she went to the bathroom, I had her fucking, her little fucking... Talk box? Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> why'd you have to leave me this way? And you, and, you, and you never told her you had it in your mouth, so when she came back, she put it back in? <laughs> or eating lasagna, she's like... Girl. Yeah. He was... <laughs> Why is there marinara sauce on my? Over so. here like this and shit, <laughs> <laughs> drooling in it and shit. She comes back and shit. Why does it taste like shit? You're like Cujo. Now it's high to party. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey Magic Girl, hit me up, man. I got a fucking hook that I need her on. Like I need her on it. Hell yeah. And it's a talk box. Let's I need do a talk it. box on it. Hell, I encourage it. I need her on it. Okay. Her for, or Diamond Ortiz, but I want it for like free. Her. <laughs> yeah, for free. We're on the same level. <clears throat> no, I respect her shit though. She's fucking good. I want her to be the one to do it. So I've been actually waiting. I asked her before. She said she couldn't do it uh -huh. because of your management or whatever. So, I, but I held it for her. Okay. Like, cause I I want her to be on it. Dope. Cause it Dope. has to be a talk box. I, is it that girls song? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got that one down pat. I hit that fucking note. Okay. <laughs> I turned into I'll be sure over Why'd you have to hurt my heart? Like, I couldn't believe you were singing that song. I was like, damn, Gucci can really I sing. I know, then I was going to sing Candy Kisses, but then you stopped me. I know. I, I know that. And then reggaeton, I was like, kip, 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 You were like, and I'm like, ah, ta ta ta. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> mama, yo soy el cuyo. <laughs> Te la meto por el culo. <laughs> Mama, you saw your cool Joe. Te la meto por el culo. So, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys are having a good time. Hey, uh, uh, ask them, ask the people if they enjoy dining with the wizard. Ask them that. I want to know. I want to know. So maybe I could, if um, not, I'll just stop. The last question was. <laughs> just, no, you won't. Like, the last question the was, fuck, um, you your will you, uh, will the Dodgers win? Mm -hmm. And 64% hell yeah. And 36% said chale fu. Mm-hmm. At least you're honest. Okay, well, what was the question I just said right now? I just asked a question, Alex. Shit, I forgot. Anybody else? Hey, um, if you guys drop money, once again, we promote your business here live. We'll give you a shout out. 
Uh, there was there's a guy he dropped uh, 4.99. Uh, Johnny Cervantes. Johnny Cervantes, go ahead. He he said, said, uh, much love and respect from Tucson, Arizona. Tucson in the building. Yeah. Uh, shout out, uh, Familia Custom Tree, uh, Custom Tees, Familia Custom Tees. Familia Custom Tees. Let's give him an applause. Every time somebody drops, we'll give him an applause after the shout out. Okay. Did you give him an applause? Cool. That'll work. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You know what? A lot of people will say Tony Hayes begging. Log the fuck off then, okay? How am I different from a preacher, right? <laughs> don't ask no questions, just uh, pay the money. I said, don't ask. Don't ask. I said, Look, don't I'll tell you what. ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For $20 or more, I will send you this holy water. Uh, okay. <laughs> It'll get rid of your problems. You drink enough of this, you will turn into an angel and start flying. Exactly. Exactly. So... Um, girl, anyways, um, get, get the, yes, so yeah, cool, yo, te la meta por el culo. We're coming with that reggaeton song. I'm producing it, okay? So, I'll, yeah. I'll do the ad list, the ra, Yeah, ra, he, and he's going to be wearing Ben Daisies, okay? Ben Daisies? Ben Daisies, Daisy Dukes, but from Ben, ben Davis. Davis. Yeah, he's going to show little, like this much cheek from each you side. You could be country and gangster at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> I got al pastor Taco sauce on my white t-shirt. Huh. <laughs> Gonna lick it all because you know I love it. <laughs> you want to bust a first? You want to bust a verse? Come on. Not of Hennessy. Why? <laughs> Henny, uh, anything's possible. For real. <laughs> Come fucking, on. After this podcast, I'll be fucking fighting the SWAT team and everything. I'm fucking sore right now. Why you worked out? Yeah. If you don't donate, you ain't American. <laughs> look at you guys look what he's saying look what he's saying everybody you know fuck like come on guys hey motherfuckers be like critiquing every fucking word i say for real yeah like tony is not bucanas it's B buchanan no it's bucanas i'm like okay fuck you know, fuck, sue me. Go and fucking move to Boston. You want to call it fucking Buchanan's. Yeah, exactly. Are you all right, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's just, just, I'm telling you, Tony, you wanted the demon. It's coming. I'll be like. <laughs> oh, New somebody, York. Somebody it's coming. Dro somebody dropped four ninety nine. Uh, His name is Enrique Led Led Ledesma. I think Ledesma or something like that. Enrique. Sorry, Sorry, give us Sorry I butchered your name, bro. <laughs> Go but ahead. it says saludos from Esco 760, Notorious County. Keep doing your, keep doing the damn thing. Hell yeah. Let's give him a, let's give him a hand, hand clap. Hell yeah. Thank you, big dog. Thank you. Now, those top ramens are for him this week. So you just fed Cujo. So you with, didn't see the commercial I put up <laughs> with the sad music? I'm looking like a little lost puppy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you're, in, you're in a shed. And you're covering yourself with newspaper? <laughs> I, I, sometimes I use my shirt just if that's not warm enough. Exactly. And I go, say something, Kujo. And then you go, crying face. Hey, I'm all, for five sopas a week, you can keep me alive. Yeah, exactly. Keep him alive. Say something, Kujo. He's not the only rapper hurting. Girl. Rappers all across the land are yeah. going through the same thing. <laughs> Hey, 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 let me ask you this. Do rappers fake the funk on social media like they're oh, paid? Yes. Every single one just about. Okay, I'm going to repeat the question. Do rappers fake the funk on social media like if they're really paid? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's sad, huh? It is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like kind of like a fake it till you make it kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, to you, be honest. You know, okay. Do you remember that song by MC Breed that said, Ain't no future in your fronting? Mm -hmm. I think this generation is, I'm a front till I have a future. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Everything now is like figure team make it, buy the gold chain, buy the grill, buy the, buy the, you know what I mean? Oh, especially the guys with the grill. Oh, my God. Oh, my I God. I mean, I know a homie with a grill who's doing the damn thing. Though. Right. But it sounds like when you're rapping but with those gold grills, it sounds like you're rapping with fake Dracula teeth from Halloween. Okay, next time, I'm going to buy you some Dracula teeth. Put them in your mouth. <laughs> look in the, gold. Yeah, you know, look in the mirror and try rapping if I was cocky with it. That's like, I think, what mumble rap is. So, so next time you come back, I want you to wear the Dracula teeth and try to rap it, all right? Um, shout out to Kina Bina. She, drive, she dropped um, uh, $20 or 
Kina hey, Bina, much love, much respect. Let's give her a hand clap. Is your man a cook? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Kina, I got you, I got you. That's on that. I'm joking. Yes, yes. Thank you for the. Kina's a real one. She's been supporting Rodium Radio since day one. As a matter of fact, <laughs> this shot glass, Michael Myers, came from Kina Bina. She actually mailed it to me. Did she make it or she bought it? No, she bought it. Of course, I don't think she made it. Kind of looks like you a little bit, huh? On a hangover day, yes. Yeah, it does. Huh? <laughs> Kina Bina, this is. For you, thank you. So, thank you again. that's one month of top ramen day? for you. <laughs> one month, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five more days. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want five shrimps. I want five chickens. I want. <laughs> Hell yeah! You know when I used to buy the the the, the, the actual cup of noodle where you take off the lid, mm -hmm. I would get the shrimps in there, and I would hang them on the rim. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! That's what I would do. Are you serious? Yeah, and then take a picture of it. Shrimp cocktail, homie. What you know about this? Damn. Hell yeah. Damn, you got to send that to the homies on the inside so they can feel it, like they're it, exactly. like hey, on hey, vacation. Homie, let me get a camarón. Hey, uh, you don't cheat anything. Just no. one, homie. Uh, been marinated. That's shrimp on the rim, not inside. I'm going to have to whack this fool, dog. You don't fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. Did we ask another question or no? No, not yet. Okay, um, what's a good question? Mm. All right, let's see. Okay, why is there no more, like, why is the Halloween spirit dead? Like, why when you go, like, they're not even doing that shit anymore? Only you know what, you, you're, you're right. You're right about that, man. Because when I was a kid, you seen your fucking classmates and all that shit. Yeah, everybody was, yeah. was like, Kukui. everybody was fucking Dracula, werewolf, fucking, uh, I know my son, I still have his costumes. Uh, he was an alien. Who, me? And, and, and yeah. No, not a, not an alien that like, but an alien from outer space, you know, and um, <laughs> <laughs> a humanoid, a humanoid, you know. Oh, I still have my, one. I still have my video, so, so anyway, <laughs> I, everything's going wrong. Anyways, don't blame it on me. Blame it in El Pelon. It's called Espelon, wow. but I call it El Pelon. Okay, so as as, as Mijo, if he wants one too, so. Can you, can you pass me my black bag right there? Well, what do you got in the black bag? More Hennessy. Hennessy is possible. Okay. Um, Let's need more soda. Okay, you, you guys keep putting on on the chat. Oh yeah, keep putting on the chat. Who do you guys want to see on, you know, dining with the wizards? You know, I conversate with them, but yet they dine. So let's keep going. Okay, um, we, got, we got a five dollar donation from oh. again uh one nine one six zero one nine one six he said Cujo, what's up with the bowling movement guys any upcoming music with them no nah, they, they they're pretty much doing their own thing right now it's, it's on my so oh yeah mm -mm. and that's the bowling movement yeah the, don't want it with me i never heard of that, that she got like 1.7 million For real? yeah we killed that shit Okay, and uh, so how come you're not doing nothing no more with those well, guys? I start working on my album. Oh, okay. And they're doing their thing, shit. People work, people, all kinds of shit. When is your R and B album coming out? I'm not doing an R and B album. I'm just fucking around, like. Oh, okay. Trying to fucking learn it and shit. Hey, you're still young enough, bro. Where you could do it. You know what I'm saying? I wish you. Trying, not man. I'm trying to fucking. I'm trying to just try everything, dog. I'm trying to do everything to try. I, I want to be one of the greatest. So of in order to do that, you have to master everything, like. Every yeah. fucking type of music. So you're gonna, you're gonna do techno, probably. Like I'm green, I'm green. Dum, dum. You, you know, you, you know what that that kick sounds like? Like somebody took an old fucking shoe and is banging it against the wall. Zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, and then you get these motherfucker, you know, speaker bunnies fucking going crazy. Over speaker there. bunnies. Yeah, <laughs> that, um, that's the shit. Okay. Speaker bunnies on fucking acid, dancing like they're possessed. <laughs> like. Yeah. Bro, if you're having a good time. <laughs> oh, the Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, and the music stopped. I'm like, no, I, I run out of that motherfucker, bro. Yeah, that's too much for me. It, it is too much. It is too much. Okay. Um. Let me ask you this. Um, how do you see the state of Chicano rap right now? Positive? Is it uh, good? Dead. Bad? It's negative? It's kind of just stagnant. Stagnant. It's okay. Like what do you think monotone. it needs? My album. Mm. 
along with a few other people's albums, to be honest. Good, 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 good ass a, a lot of the a lot of the fucking hitters need to come back. Like everybody's kind of just stagnant. This either that or new people, because a lot of the guys that Maybe. are not delivering right now, if you're selling out to all this, this is just me, because I don't know what kind of music, but I'm not a fan of trap. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I think I think it's a trap. Okay, uh, I think it's like crunk and it's gonna pass. Okay, to me it's like. If you do it, do it, but do both. Like do, do both. Like or do it right. If, yeah, yeah. Like if you're gonna do it just to have fun and get with the times, I get it. Because sometimes, like I feel in the mood to do it, but like I also stick to my roots. But you gotta do it fucking right. Okay, yeah. you, you didn't watch the verses. Big Daddy Kane, hold on, hold that thought. Big Daddy Kane, DJ Scratch, let's do something for the new for the youngsters. And he played a fucking trap beat, and fucking Big Daddy Kane killed that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And I, you know what I said? I could listen to that. Yeah. But today you got a, the whole Edgar Coalition jumping off and they're just doing all this bullshit, bro. I just can't feel it. And whenever I speak my opinion, you're a hater. No, I love I love hip hop. I just don't like that. So go ahead, Alex. Okay, so according to Google, right? Uh huh. Trap music started in the nineteen nineties. See, I see. Um, nah, who, it, it was that probably, shit started like 2000. Look, bro, that was probably a white 14. guy from Philadelphia. That shit started who like wrote 2014. That. 2012. I'm just, I'm just being serious. He's probably about 35 years old. But Loki, I've known about trap music since I would say 2009, yeah, 2008. Yeah, 2012. yeah, like when Nipsey Hussle started coming out. Around yeah, that around time. that time, but you know what? It really started when like Chief Keef came out, OG yep. Bobby Johnson, fucking uh, what's that? Jeezy, Q, when that Jeezy Gucci Man. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, are you a fan of uh, um, uh, Donda? The the not me. Okay, now what was it about it that maybe you just didn't I care just for? I don't really like Kanye shit. Really, not okay. Like once in a while I could hear it, but not really. You didn't like she take my money. I used to love that shit. The Gold Digger was a shit, huh? Mm -hmm. Gold Digger was, and I'm gonna take you right now. Uh, uh, flashing lights, flashing lights. That motherfucker. That yeah. motherfucker. That hey, motherfucker. Someone, dro someone dropped a 199. Uh, his name is Johnny Cervantes. He said, uh, we need that versus uh, Mr. D versus Cujo. What's up? Hey, that would be, be fucking dope, dope bro. That would be, that'd be that fucking, we draw fucking, we would fucking break the fucking internet with that motherfucker. Yep, I respect that. And that um, right there. Kevin Lopez dropped $5. He said, more power to Tony A, the Rodium Radio crew. Thank you, Cujo, my, my bro. <laughs> my bro. Thank you, my bro. What do you think I was going to say? He says, uh, <laughs> my love. My love. He says, I don't know why uh, I thought I heard the L coming. I was like, but he says he I'm digs kidding. that. Maybe. Um, That's the Henny. I see you, Jam. I see you. Like, you have a song called I See You, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. By my son, though. One of my son. Yeah, oh, okay, he says okay. uh, the single father raising six. He says he's a single father raising six. Okay. He, he digs That's that shit. song. Okay, you yeah. know what? That's a real father raising six. Mm -hmm. Six yeah, kids? Yeah. That, that's a real father, homie. Uh, is it, uh, he, his company is called the Ambitious Life Clothing Brand. Dope, dope. And you know Send what? Send me some shit. Yeah, go Nowhere. ahead and give him a, 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 an applause right there, man. Yeah, man. You know what? We need we need more fathers that kids can be proud of. Like, seriously. We need more fathers that kids can be proud of. Because you know what? Here's my thing. Anybody can be a dad. Anybody can get a girl pregnant. But it takes a man to raise that child, bro. Raise that child. Mm -hmm. You know, so. And that's what you're doing. Um, somebody uh, else dropped $5. Okay. Uh, the name is 310. And uh, he says... Uh, Interview Big Spanto from the City Boys. The City Boys. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's give him an applause right there for that. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, you know what? I'll tell you what. Either hit me on the DM with your info or, uh, you know, email it at rhodiumradio at gmail.com. Let them know that you're the one that reached out to us on Dining with the Wizard. And we'll see what we can do. See, a lot of people, they contact me and they tell me, you should get this guy. But many times, I don't even know their Instagram. I don't even know how to get a hold of them. If you guys can help me, I'll try to make it work. Look, a lot of you guys, and I'm not going to drop no names because I don't want to make anybody look bad, but a lot of you said, you know, you should get this, you should get this guy. And believe me, I had them all, but many of them canceled. So, And then I have to go before you guys on camera and say, you know what, um, we had a last-minute replacement because so-and-so so canceled. Well, Tony, something's always going wrong with you. Bro, <laughs> if they have personal issues and they can't make it because they live four hours away, two hours away, I respect that. So, you know... Uh, but many of them, sad to say, they don't want to reschedule. They'll just say, oh, I have to cancel. Cool, whatever. You know? Isn't it funny that Cujo's one of the fucking dopest MCs out there, and every time I call him, he's here. Honestly. And then 
some of the people that I booked that people want to see wouldn't be able to hold your fucking jock strap. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it go. Cool. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to beg anybody. I appreciate and I learn from my guests. But when you try to act like a prima donna and like say, you know, I can't make it, then cool, whatever. But anyways. Um, I feel like they probably just don't know who they're really flaking on. Like, And I think that's what I think. Fuck, maybe I should send them my bio. This maybe was like the... A big fucking when it comes to music shit, dog. He's fucking uh, like a godfather for like Chicanos type shit. Like even just not even just Chicanos. I'm talking in general. Like he's fucking one of the best DJs out of LA ever. Thank like, you, my bro. Thank you. Like that straight up fool. Like if you if you know music, then you know who, the, who Tony A is. Thank you, my bro. I knew bro. who Tony A was uh, forever. Like so, hey, uh, if he calls you out of respect for you to come, you know what I mean, or you want to come, he's telling me you're gonna come, then come, fool. Yeah. Like you know, that's like flaking on like like fucking. Grandmaster Flash or some shit. Yeah, I almost said thank you, my love. Hey, so what? <laughs> so I mean, to me, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Go Someone ahead, dropped uh, twenty dollars. Active LA. He says, um, "I see you uh, from Cujo is a hella sick track. I bumped that shit when I need motivation." Oh yeah! Shout out from Gardena. Gardena, Gardena, the motherfucking building. Yep, Gardena. So all good. The Harbor area is in the building. Thank you for that. You give him an applause for that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, uh, what the fuck was I? Something else I was gonna say, bro. Um, hey, 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 do you give away candy for Halloween, or are you gonna take your kid out? Take him out. Nobody got money for that. For all that fucking candy. Are you, are you one of those people that go and drop their kids off in Palos Verdes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. There's people what that go. Do? I can't drop that for out nowhere yet. There, there's people that go and they'll they'll uh, they'll drive all the way to Palos Verdes. Um, yeah. The streets, oh, the streets they know street. what, yeah, because according to them, they give the big candies away. That ain't true. Fool. I've been out there on Halloween. I give the best motherfucking candy. And, and my, I'll my chase kid, your kid down the street. Yeah, and chase your kid down the street. But um, <laughs> no, my son knows that I give the best shit. I like I don't do whack whack candy, bro. Yeah. And I give you love it, this holiday. Though. Yeah, and I give kids two candies, and I don't care if you come back wearing a different fucking mask. I know because I see you get, get another candy. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Give but a fuck, huh? Exactly, it's to give away. Here you so, go. so yeah, I'm gonna have a good ass time. I'm gonna be bumping music and playing a movie outside on my motherfucking wall, huh, bro. I get into it. I might just come here and kick it. Hell yeah! Go ahead, Alex. You gonna say something? Nah, this guy says that I'm not giving enough. That I'm forgetting to give applauses, so I'm just giving it to him right now. Give it to him right now. <laughs> there you go. Alex, there you go. Thank you for that comment. You get an applause, up. homeboy. So, <laughs> so, so, for Halloween, are you gonna wear your bandages? Inside, not inside. I don't. I don't dress up. Fool. And you know who I want to give a shout out to real quick? Who? If you're watching, Jen from Fashion Town. That's the boy right there. Jen be Big hooking time. everybody up. Yep. Look, he I don't give. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. No, what actually, influence gave me this, but all my other clothes he gives me. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you guys say. Jen is for the culture. Uh, he's from the Harbor area. Uh, well, at least his stores are, you know, and he loves the Harbor area. So no, he's from the Hot too. Yeah, he grew up in Gardena. He said. And, and and one thing about him, you walk into his store. Um, he's got Rasa there working. He's playing fucking hip hop, and he's playing G shit like truly, truly. That's truly. a good person. Yeah, he is. He is, bro. Like that fool's even showing my homies. Love, like yeah, from the from the neighborhood, from the city, like he he like they'll go on there and they'll they'll spend like forty bucks and come out with like sixty five dollars worth of shit. He yeah. just hooks them up, like yeah, like he he hooks it up. Like like for Mister D's video, I went over there and he said I told him I was gonna be shooting a video and he gave all Mister D's clothes free. For yeah, that's and, what he does. He's he's yeah, bro. Like that. So so make sure you guys go to Fashion Town and 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 go over there and tell them that Tony A sent you. Use the promo code Rolling Radio twenty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Mile High uh, dropped 10 bucks. He says, Freaky Tales theme song should play nonstop during Freaky Tales podcast. Why does it pause? Not freaky without it. What's going on? It's um, not freaky enough. Ain't. Because it, it, well, it depends which song he's talking about. Is he well, talking I think he's talking about, about the, 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 the I, I think he's talking about the intro. Okay. No, no. I think he's talking about, you know, that music I play. Okay. The then that's, yeah, that's your that's fault. Scary. That falls on you. Well, <laughs> well, no, here's the thing, well, no, right? Okay. I have to play it low. Okay. And I forget. Keep so. it on the low. <laughs> so, okay. So I don't hear it when it goes out and it's only last six minutes. So. I know, but you gotta keep replaying it. Mile High, are you, are you calling for Mile High, uh, Denver? Yeah, that's that guy. Okay, cool, cool. He's, uh, a, uh, he's a loyal, loyal. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, much love to you, big dog. Much love to everybody out there in Denver. I got uh, friends out there in Denver. Um, so now, um, Cujo, when can we expect something new from you? Oh, like the next month. I know I keep saying that shit, but I'm doing the video on so Tuesday. So, December or November? November. Okay. I'm doing the video this Tuesday. Once I finally do this fucking video, that shit's coming. Once I finally do this video, it's coming out. Okay. So video, what, turnaround's like a week for a music video? Who's doing your video shoots? That's a secret. Oh, I'll oh, tell you after. Yeah, yeah, tell me after. I, I'm going to shoot it with my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hey, today fucking motherfuckers can. Yo. So, this fucking guy 4K, is I, I'm, I'm going I'm to do a 4K video on my Google Pixel 5. I got you. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Um, hey, did you ask people if they like dining with the wizard? Uh, no, I did not ask them. What the fuck? You're fired. You're fired. In Donald Trump voice. Okay, ask people if they truly enjoy dining with the wizard. If not, I'll stop doing it for a week. I don't think they like it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And and continue to put on the live chat. Who, you, who do you guys want to see here at dining with the wizard? And you know, if anything, what kind of food do you guys want to see us eat? You know, that's that's another good question. You what like kind sushi? of food? I fucking love sushi. I love bro. sushi too. Yeah. Now, now, do you just the California roll type of mm -hmm. guy? Spicy tuna, fucking all kinds of shit. Fool. Okay. Dragon roll, fucking. Eel rolls. Yes. What about chicloso rolls? Do you like chicloso rolls? Okay. Also with a little bit of brown specks on it, a little bit of brown sugar. Gummies. Uh, brown sugar flakes. The, what are foreskin rolls? Mm, I <laughs> <laughs> I love catching you off guard. <laughs> I know some motherfuckers in the comment. Tony, hey, how dare you? Stop it with calmate puto. If you don't like it, don't fuck. fucking watch. Seriously, bro. <laughs> fuck. Like motherfuckers like are really sensitive. You know, Tony said that wrong. You know. Oh, Tony said it. Like, <laughs> shit, I got fucking rolling radio police. I gotta chill on this Hennessy because that shit's fucking meat. Uh, For reals? Hell yeah. I don't see shit. I had a full you're, cup. That shit's down to here right now. And not, I put a gang of Hennessy in that motherfucker. You're not, you're not perspiring, fool. You're not, you haven't drank enough. Yeah, yeah, ain't drank enough. <laughs> and plus I'm full too. Like I'm full. So that's what's fucking it up too. See what you do. What you got to do, drink, take a, a shot of Hennessy. Drive around the block. If you can go within 80 miles, less than five seconds, you're good. <laughs> okay. Um... Somebody dropped uh, $5. Mm -hmm. It goes by the name Satan West. Satan West. Oh, uh, uh, it said, oh, shit, is there me. any chance Aztec Tribe, Norwalk's Most Wanted, or Brown Pride oh. will be on Rodeon Radio? Okay. Brown Pride. Uh, Brown Pride okay, okay, Brown Pride? Uh, okay, let me start with Brown Pride. Where do we find them? I know Brown Pride is from Wilmas, okay, from my neighborhood. I know they're from the 90s. The last that I heard... The guy that was trying to get in contact with them for me said he could only, there were three guys. He could only get in contact with two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, two of them. And um, he said that they don't even live in Wilmington anymore. So he's trying to, that's the latest update that he's trying to mm -hmm. get them together and bring them here. So yeah, I would love to, but like I said, it, it's hard for me to go digging for these guys, especially if I don't know their that social dope, media. Though, they don't have social media. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't. Hey, I don't know. Well, if somebody on the live knows, you know. Uh, I remember that song. Because all you guys know everything on here. Who knows where uh, we could find uh, Brown Pride? Yeah. See now, Funky Funky on L Street. Social media. He goes. He goes. The spooky gonna kick a fucking Funky L Street or what? That's how it's that's uh, how it starts. I know, but you know, you know where that as you originally came from. Some white guys. In the 70s, a song did a song called Funky L Street, talking about L Street. And it was on 45, bro. Talking about this one? Yeah. From Wilmas, bro. What? Yeah. Yeah, they had Still Living in the Barrio. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, bro. I have, I know that one. Yeah, some white guys. Uh, funky, Funky L Street. Yeah, I heard that. Bro. Yeah, so. Um, Classic. Mm. So if, if we can get anybody that knows Brown Pride, help me out, and I'll get them on here. Now, as far as, uh, what was it, Funky uh, Aztecs? Oh, Aztec tribe, Aztec tribe. Fuck you, yeah. Aztecs. <laughs> Despensa, homie. I'm a little espelon. Okay. Aztec tribe. Yeah, I've been in contact. Um, as a matter of fact, I was talking to somebody today or yesterday that told me they're going to help me get them on here. So we'll do that. But you know what I need? See, a lot of you guys request people, and then you guys don't fucking tune in. Like, that's, that's the, like I've had people, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy. And our lows are very fucking few. I mean, our few. Now, when I say few... Like 5K, you know, and I'm like, bro, 
You guys have asked me for this, these people for so fucking long. And you ain't even watching. And you guys didn't even watch it. So. And then they ask in the next interview, when are you going to get the last guy we interviewed on there? You know, like they'll, they'll, yeah, ask yeah, us, yeah. they'll ask us the next interview if we got the person we just interviewed on there. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, see, just I'm just using him as an example. I just interviewed Julio G. A week later, somebody say, when are you going to get Julio G on? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. They should be forced to donate when they do that. Yeah, exactly. Forced to donate. Um, anyways. Cool, Joy. So, Tuesday, you're filming the video. Yes. Uh, is that the one with the Ben Daisies or no? And the cell phone? No. Is that the one with the with, with the uh, R&B? No, this is the one I'm doing with RJ, Mr. LA. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I'm doing that one. And then when that, when that, that'll, that turnaround will probably be like a week or two. After that, I'll release that along with the whole album. All right. All right. Someone dropped five more dollars. Okay. Uh, Who is it? Same guy, uh, 191601916. He okay. says, we need more music, Cujo. Don't waste your talent. Never. Got all the potential, G. I Can't is one of my favorites. Thank you, man. That was a dope video, too. Uh, let's go ahead and give him an applause right there. You, you, you know who I want to get back on here? LA Icon. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why, because... He's a big conspiracy guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, dude. So yeah. I, I, I like talking like that. So LA Icon, I'm going to try to get He's him on He's going to get for Freaky Tales. He's perfect. That's what he should have been on. Yeah, Freaky Tales. Yeah, but... That was really good. He'll go for but, days but, on but, shit. But, okay, it, only if he's got Freaky Tales. But I like conspiracy shit. Oh, then he'd be yeah, here. You know, I like conspiracy shit like his Obama, he, uh, he fucking reptilian. You know, that type of shit. <laughs> you know, because there's people that are saying that Justin he's in Bieber a, too. Yeah, and what I'm saying is the shit that people have said on the internet. This is not coming from me, but on the internet, people have said Obama's a reptilian and his wife's a man. Have you heard that? Yes. Okay, and uh, 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 who was it? The one that used to have that fucking um, late night show. She even she she the fucking she, she already passed. Joan Rivers. She threw Obama under the fucking bus, and there's video about her. Look it up, everybody. Joan Rivers talks about Obama, and she blasted him and then she died what'd she say that's old yeah. yeah yeah she blasted him no you guys gotta have to google it i'm not gonna say it because i'll get crucified for saying what the fuck she said i'm serious bro they'll say you said it tony we're not even gonna bother looking it's him let's go live tonight everybody so believe me motherfuckers have gone live you know what i said you're nobody until somebody makes a video of you mm -hmm. seriously and i got a gang of fucking videos out there about me bro like, fuck. Tyrant, Andy, while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fools on my live and shit. Hey, do you text when you drive? Mm hmm For reals? You know you're not supposed to. I don't know, but I'm not supposed to drink and drive either, but I do that just fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, I, I try not to text because you got to take your ass off the road, but I'll wait till I stop or something or I'll do the little where you hit it and you talk. Here's what really scared me, okay? Mm -hmm. One time... I'm driving home at three o'clock in the morning. I pull up next to an old lady, and that's the old lady. She's driving on the freeway like this. Doing that, bro. I'm like, Ooh, get the fuck away from her. Yeah, I'm like, fuck this lady right here, you know. My thing is this, bro. If it can wait, it can wait. I'll do it at a red light, but I ain't fucking. Yeah, while you're driving, it's just kind of like, eh. Can you imagine if you're driving and all of a sudden you hear, BAM! And then you fucking wake up in a pool of piss in hell? <laughs> I would blame the Henny. <laughs> and then Satan goes, I've been blame waiting for you, you uh, sorry uh, mother. Uh, alcohol. Uh, I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, and then Satan- I get to bring my Henny with me. No, no, and Satan looks at you, the fuck out of here, you <laughs> so stupid Mother motherfucker. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Uh, fuck out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. That shit is funny. I'll never let that shit go. That was a funny shit. I've I mean, when you heard. piss people, when you piss a demon off, you're somebody, I think. You know? Huh. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then, uh, are you going to carve pumpkins with your kid? No. I carve, I like carving pumpkins. I like all that shit. I'm a 53 year old kid. I know, but in your time, like, that was some shit. Like, I mean, so, in my times, it was kind of some shit, but that shit was already going on. So you never not, did it? 
I did. Uh, to me, it's annoying. Kids, kids carve pumpkins on Roblox now. Uh, Roblox. They, they on, yeah, it's a video game on on tablets. Damn. They don't even have dogs no more. They just have like a d- digital pet on uh, on their tablet, and they feed it. Tamagotchi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Except dogs it's on have been tablet. replaced with with what, Alex? Digital, digital pets. Digital pets. Dogs yeah. have been replaced with digital pets. Because half these fucking dogs are like a thousand bucks nowadays and shit, too. Oh, well, yeah. The, uh, uh, those bullies. Dog, those bullies can cost you up to like 10 Gs. I know. That's a whole car. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. I got my fucking gym. Would you rather have a beautiful dog or a fine hole that's going to cost you the same amount of money? I'd rather have my rent paid and jack off on porn. Right. And go to the fucking animal shelter for like 45 minutes to get that shit out of my system if I want to see a dog and then I'll leave. All right. The rent's paid. Because you got hoes that are like... No, I don't buy a bitch shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. You're not buying her no Birkin? Nope. You're not buying her a Birkin like bag she gets a meal. No, no red bottoms? No, she's like she gets a meal. Cool. <laughs> Hamburger special on a 40. Yeah, pretty much. And the motel yeah, parking she's lot. She's lucky if she's getting that. <laughs> Lucky Oh my god But you know I mean you, you, You'll have somebody That'll drive some, All the way from San Fernando Valley To blow you There's those type of girls Out there Whose idea Was it yours or mine bitch You know what I'm saying Like gobble gobble If, you, but, if, you're, if it was your idea You wanted to drive All the way fucking over here Well that's on you Exactly that's on you Don't expect no gas money She was over here Fucking I need gas too Swallowing souls uh. <laughs> <laughs> If this hurts you You already Like If the shoe fits Run a fucking marathon. Oh, where is it, <laughs> so, <laughs> if the chunk class fit, if the Crocs That's fit, the class fit, you know if, you're the shit, bitch. <laughs> if, if, if the Crocs fit, the, uh-huh. white, the your white stinky Crocs. Uh-huh. So, we're wearing biker shorts. But uh, okay, anyways, um, Cujo, what are you gonna do tonight when you go home? Sleep. No, you, you gotta watch a movie. There's a nice full oh, moon yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 I'll watch Halloween. I feel like you gotta watch Halloween with somebody though. It's better. I got somebody's number you can call. The girl? Yeah, but you've been there, done that. Forget it. Oh, fucking <laughs> <laughs> god. I've been there, done that. I've been there, I've done that. We got guns, we got straps. <laughs> Anyways, um, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go inside and watch Halloween. Uh, light my fucking pumpkin candle. Mm-hmm. Get it vibe. all into the Halloween spirit mm-hmm. and watch Michael, some Michael Myers movie, one of them. Yeah, because, you know, when it comes Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm not going to watch that. I'm going to be watching, you know, Christmas Vacation, Jingle All the Way, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's a Wonderful Life, you know, those kind of movies. Hey, um, do you watch, uh, have you, do you like that movie, The 13th Ghost? Yeah, 13th Ghost. I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty. It's yeah. I'm surprised. And there's a naked. You're, you're into that teams. type of stuff. I'm Bad surprised teams. you haven't watched it. The Thirteenth Ghost. You know what I did see? I, I think it's called um, something Nights. Uh, it's a vampire movie in Alaska. Vampire. Yeah. Thirty days and thirty nights. Thirty days, thirty nights. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Snowy and shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was a good one. It's a vampire movie. A vampire. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. It's a vampire he movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vampire movie. Vampire, get it right. Fuck. Okay, that. Oh, you know what's a good Halloween movie? You ever watch Hocus Pocus comedy with a three? Fuck that movie. Why? My baby mama loves that movie. I fucking can't stand that fucking movie. I didn't even watch it like that. I like Hocus Pocus. That's some fucking Disney Channel fucking. You know, hi, guys, it's Kuzo Savage, and you're watching Disney you know, Channel. You know you got, Kujo, you know you got sad when the cat got ran over. I don't even know what you're stupid talking about. I've never seen the fucking movie. That shit, I'm a fucking stupid movie. Dude. Has anybody dropped any money? Because I'm starting to get worried. Yeah. Bitch, huh? Go ahead. Uh, St. West uh, dropped $5. Thank and you. And they want to know, ask Tony A top five horror movies. Hmm. Horror movies? Okay. Virginia Vaginas. Fucking. I'm just going to say scary movies because some people horror. consider horror like gore. But I'm just going to say scary movies. Okay. Exorcist number one. That was scary. Okay. And this is not an order. I didn't finish that movie. That's the only scary movie I never finished. Exactly. Never okay. finished it. Uh, and, and this is not like an order. The second one has got to be the, the Omen. 
the original Omen that came out in the 70s or 100%. late, early 80s. The Omen, okay? Third one, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was scary as fuck. Okay. I don't know if you consider this horror or just scary or whatever, but the first Michael Myers movie. It's scary. Okay. And I would have to say that um, my last one, it's a tie between either The Conjuring 1 or Insidious 1. To me, both of those are in my top five. Yeah, because those are be, just some some supernatural, to me paranormal goes, shit. To me, it goes con the whole Conjurings, all of them. That's the scariest shit ever okay. to me. Then it goes the Insidious, all those. Scare to me, those are the top two. Okay. After that, I would say uh, fucking Exorcist. Yeah. Let's give him an applause for that one. Mm -hmm. I like that question. Because I couldn't even finish that movie. Okay. I went halfway and I was like, I just can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um, Hey, and then I would say okay. Jeepers Creepers. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah, Jeepers Creepers. Okay. What, what, what about Candyman? Are you guys scared about Candyman? Ah, fuck Candy that man? fool. Yeah, nah, fucking old bug-loving yeah. motherfucker. What about the lawnmower man? Lawnmower. Nah, you know, that fool needs a fucking... That fool owes me like three cuts, fool. Yeah. <laughs> so you said that about what I'm looking for. No, nah, you guys never seen the lawnmower man? Mm -hmm. It's an no. old-ass movie. It's like some guy, he, he gets sucked into like the... The internet, the lawnmower man. Yeah, like the, he gets sucked into the internet, and he it's some crazy ass movie. Yeah, but okay. it has nothing to do with lawnmowers. Okay, it just, right. but he like that's his character. He was he started off as a guy that mows lawns. Okay, and then it just went from there. And there's like three. I'll parts mow there. her lawn. A <laughs> <laughs> Starship Troopers considered a scary movie? No, no, that's that's more sci-fi. Mm -hmm. That's more sci-fi, but but I will say that. I'll say Chucky. Chucky is a good fucking scary movie. Yeah, I mean, but you know, here's another one that I don't know if you would consider horror, or what would you consider it. But you know what movie really fucking terrified me? Again, think about when it came out and how old I was. Don't think about it today. But Jaws one, oh fucked yeah, me up. Hey, when I was a kid and I seen that movie, I was scared as fuck. So yeah, my, my son's mom cannot go in the water anymore because that movie. It, it fucked a lot of people up. Fucked a lot of people up. Like that bitch can't even see a fucking shark like in a commercial and the right, flips right. out. I couldn't really. I mean, I, I wasn't. It didn't terrify me because. Well, just again, the, thought, the, the thought of a shark knowing where the hell you are <laughs> all the time and following you around. You know, because um, like on the second movie. You got hood rats that follow you around know exactly where <laughs> you're at. A shark lives in the ocean, though. <laughs> you don't the think they got like fucking sonar shits in their fucking nose exactly. or whatever the fuck, huh? Exactly. So, yeah, you got hood rats that know exactly when they the fuck you're at. They can sniff you out. Hell yeah. Somehow you, you show up at a bar and they're there. Uh -huh. You're like, what the fuck? So is Jaws <laughs> a scary movie then? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I would, I would say it. a scary movie. I would say it's scary. Well, I would consider it, yeah. Scary. Well, then Starship Troopers is a scary movie. No, fool, because that's just bugs. That's sci-fi, bro. Stop, that's like Alex. In space and shit. Okay. Okay. Now, what about Cuckman? You guys ever see Cuckman? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't met him yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's movie? What's movie is really good too? The Collector. What book collects beat people? Are you, is it? Is that the Bone Collector or the Collector? The Collector, not the Bone Collector. No, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that one. There's a lot he of people and shit. It's crazy. He's like um, a genius when it comes to killing. I'm going to tell you what's a good murder mystery movie. And it's one of my favorite when it comes to mystery. Is um, uh, Seven with uh, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt. I've never seen it. It's a good fucking movie. I enjoy that movie. It, 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 it's about this one fucking killer that he goes around killing people. Like Sloth. Uh, it, he names their sins every time he kills them. Like why he kills him. It's a fucking dope ass fucking movie. So it would be like if I killed you, I'll put a drunk. Like, you know. Fits perfectly. I'd be happy dying that way. I would. With four forties around you like <laughs> But uh uh yeah, that that was that was a good movie. I liked uh seven. Um another good one Um what the fuck's that name? Uh Trick or Treat. Is that one? Is that the one with the guy? And he's, he's with like, the little monito. Yeah, he looks. He looks. It's a Halloween. He's wearing a Halloween costume. He looks like a gingerbread man. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Trick that. or treat. That and was that, a good one. But the pumpkin one. is on the front, right? It's like a pumpkin. Yes. Is trick or yes. Treat and like glowing lights. Yes. I, I've seen the one where it's like a little kid, and then he's like friends with this killer who has like a mask and shit, and he's fucking like all tall and shit. 
What the fuck? Are, are you talking about Problem Child? Uh, I saw, but I love that movie. That's a fucking dope ass movie. Oh, just Dear Bowtie Killer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was a dope ass movie. Gives them the address and shit, huh? <laughs> you can come live here. And be and, my and, brother, huh? Yeah, and he goes like, this guy's just as crazy as me. <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. I like that better than, than Home Alone. Problem Child is a shit. And then after they come all close and shit, him and the killer and shit. <laughs> what a handsome man. Huh. They're both high killer. He fucking writes them in the pen. That shit is fucking hilarious. Um, what's another good scary movie? And the mom wants to fuck him, huh? Remember? Oh, yeah, <laughs> she yeah, sees yeah, him, yeah, She's yeah. like, ooh. Because, because girls like bad boys. Let's just be honest. Facts. If you're not a bad boy... You're probably the fucking cuck, fool. <laughs> What about the killer clowns from outer space? Nah, that shit's that's more funny, like to me. It's, yeah, it's that, that, that's, that, that's spice mugger. Remember that shit. motherfucker yeah. goes that spice mugger shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I used to love that part where that was like, put up your dukes, put up your dukes. When like, that fool fucking yeah. squares up on the fucking clown, the clown yeah. squares up. Fuck that movie. I, I watch it, cool, whatever, but fuck that movie. Hmm. He'll watch it again. Evil Dead. I seen that one too. That's, that's cool. good. I like Ash in the Evil Dead. Yeah. That shit is so fucking funny. I swear to God, you'll laugh your ass off. Hmm. It's scary, whatever, but not that much scary, but it's more like entertaining because right. he makes it so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Shit, he says not even trying to be funny. It's just funny shit like that he says. like, But like in a serious way, he says it. Okay. But it's also meant to be funny. So what is funny, but it's fucking funny. That's I mean, It's funny because I said funny like seven times. Yeah, yeah. That's so, so funny. So, it so it was funny. It was fucking real funny. Okay, um, we're not going to talk anymore until somebody drops more money because we need more uh, um, top ramens or hey, what, what about that one movie called um, The Witches of Eastwick? You know what? I saw it a long time ago, but I, I don't fucking it. remember. With remember uh, Jack it, Nicholson? Yeah, I know. I know, but I don't he's remember. He's one of the witches? You know what? Jack Nicholson played a good werewolf Cher? movie. Yeah, he played a good werewolf movie, Jack Nicholson. That's the best Halloween Yeah. The best Halloween movie for me is Halloween 1. That's just my opinion. Now, best mu Halloween music video has to be Thriller. That's facts. The Michael yeah. Jackson Thriller. And you know what's it? One of my favorite Halloween songs. This, this is year, Halloween. Halloween fell on the weekend. Me and Kojo went trick or treat in robbing little kids <laughs> for cash. bags. You know oh, what I'm I saying? Said cash. <laughs> Fucking rich ass kids. So to me, that's a Halloween song. Even though, rest in peace, Butcher Bill, he only had that verse, but so that was a fucking. Speeded up the pace, took a look back, and he was rapping. No, Dropping them motherfucking bees, bees on them. That Tony, motherfucker was hard. for a squad with no doubt. Tony, yeah. Tony, Tony you, I, I, know you, I know you bumped the Oogie Boogie Man from, um, what's that movie? Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas? No. That's your Halloween Dude, movie. I never even seen Nightmare Before Christmas. Some people are going to trip up. I, I barely seen like a little bit of it. Yeah, I, I don't even. It recently. No, me, I'm not letting show. Like, that shit doesn't drive, doesn't get my attention, bro. For real? Yeah, but. That's like a big Halloween movie. Yeah, no. Now, you know, but, but like, okay, other than Halloween 1, I would have to say like Freddy Krueger 1 is the shit. Even then, I, that shit if we ain't got nothing on fucking Michael Myers. Michael will beat that fool's ass. Right, right, right. But, okay, but here's the thing. And I said it last time, okay? Okay, Freddy and Michael Myers. They only kill people that are boning. When you know, when a girl's on top, him, huh, 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 he fucking Jason with a fucking machete, right <laughs> kills that fucking, fucking stomach. Yeah, out. and then Freddie peeps and he's like, hey, you know. Huh. So you know, look, if you're not boning, you're safe. <laughs> Me, I'm not safe. Okay? I'm, not, I'm so, the first one dead, to be honest. Yeah, so I can be gone at any time. So <laughs> if Rodeo Radio is canceled on Sunday, they came for me. <laughs> hey fool! Imagine fucking like Michael Myers from like like a neighborhood or something, huh? Imagine that fool's like, like like what neighborhood would he be from? I don't know, but what they what they call that fool? Um, Mi Mikael. <laughs> El quemao. Uh, Mikael. El quemao. <laughs> El quemao. <laughs> okay, no, no, he would be, um, he would be. What what would we? What? Cara de guante. Cara de guante. Scante. <laughs> no, no. Scante. Scante warrior. So, fuck, I'm trying to fucking set this shit up. I call that fool Blanco face. Blanco. Okay, let's see. I call that fool ghost. Fuck. Looks like a ghost. ghost. Homie ghost. Mm. Call, him, call him five day run. The homie phantom. <laughs> five day run. The homie pale face. Okay, if. Okay, okay, here's a good one. Okay. Here's a good one, you guys. A question for Cujo. Michael Myers, Jason... Chucky or Freddy? 
If you could have a 30 minute conversation with either one of them in real life, who would you talk to? Well, Michael wouldn't say shit back. No, no, wait. he had to. Okay, Michael Myers. For reals? Yeah. Ah, fuck that, dude. It's always somebody different in every fucking movie. I like your fucking question. Do you like scary movies? Like I'm going to fucking slash, dash, and rash. And <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking ass. hang up. <laughs> don't you don't you fucking do it now, motherfucker. Yeah, we're talking about Scream. Okay. Get the fuck, fuck out, out of here, here motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right. How many people we got in the live chat? 242. 242. Okay. Um, did we ask any questions? I'm sweating up um, a storm, so I'm yeah, they, losing weight. We asked if they enjoyed the show. Um, What's the percentage? 136 people voted. 82% hell yeah. 18% said Charlie. Charlie, but you're still watching. Yeah, they're still watching. Hey, all the, everybody said Charlie. Get, let's give them a hand, a hand clap. Hell oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so Michael Myers out of, out of, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. My mom put me on him. She said, you're the one that took her to see the movie the first time. That's when you guys first boned. <laughs> I got a pregnancy test I'm supposed to bring you. I forgot it's all. He's a rod dogger. <laughs> My son. Hey, next time I'm gonna, hey, I remember I told you, I was like, one of these days I'm gonna come up with a fucking fake, uh. Pregnancy test and hand it to Tony while we're fucking talking. Can you believe this? Mom told me to give you this. <laughs> What'd you do? Fling that motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Okay. No, Michael Myers, though, I, I was, uh, to me, he's my favorite. He's like a real, like, stand-up guy who's a killer. Yeah, you have to see the movie. I'll watch, I'll watch it, see. You have to see it, bro. They, they told me it's on the fire stick, so if you can find a good one, but... Yeah. Okay, you know what was crazy, bro? That when you start, first started watching Freaky Tales, you told me I cannot watch it because I get scared. You said, I started Yeah, yeah, that was scary. You, like, I started hearing, like, freaky shit everywhere, you know? Yeah, because I, I was like, it's like at night, two in the morning, I'm watching this shit. Yeah. And my pad, the lights are off, I'm on the balcony, I keep thinking I keep thinking I seen shit, fucking walk by and shit. I was like, oh, fuck this shit. I turned that shit off. <laughs> I didn't even fucking watch it. You're like, smoke, like, minutes, you're yeah. like smoking the chicken coop. Like, yeah, I was smoking a cigarette too, so I kept seeing, thinking I seen mist and shit. And I was like, oh, I'm smoking. <laughs> I'm not lying, fool. I turned that shit off. I like this shit. Watched it when it was nighttime. Who, who's this right here? You're on. That's Tapatio guy. Tapatio guy. I was supposed to be my dad, fool, but that fool fucked up. Made that fool. Look, that fool just needs a sombrero and the fucking bottle to go around, and I just want to. No, say okay, it look. No disrespect, but if you take off the mustache, Michael Myers. <laughs> I need to have the squigglies though in the hair, like that. Okay. The fucking little fucking, the tramp hair when she wakes up in the morning. <laughs> Michael Myers has bed, bed, bed head. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, I'm telling you, go watch it. I like it. So, anyways. What's up with, what's up with your Hennessy, bro? I'm good. I'm fading. Okay, this is my last fucking shot right here. Yeah, I'm fading. This is a fucking double, like, like a double right here. Okay. Look at Michael Myers. Okay, my daughter, my daughter Jessica, I like to put on my Michael Myers mask. She was like, no, daddy. No, daddy. She's 26 now. I love her. You know, she, she was, yeah, no, she was like, no, daddy. <laughs> so one day, I said, you don't like the mask, baby? And she goes, no. She goes like this. Me no like a Maca Mayas. <laughs> <laughs> and then she made a TikTok. I'll show you after. Me no like a Maca Mayas. Yeah, she made a TikTok that said, uh, my dad introduced me to Michael Myers as a little kid. I fell in love. Like, like a TikTok shit, like... And that shit, you know what's funny? She posted that shit on TikTok and she told me, she goes, she was so excited. Dad, I got a, a thousand likes overnight or a thousand views. And then somebody reported it. Oh, what a fucking hater. Yeah, that it, it, it promotes violence. Like, that was a motherfucking hater. Hater. Probably somebody's was that. No, anyways. <laughs> Dude, do the fucking, uh, the boo 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 boo. Mm. Which one? You know what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was <laughs> if the chunk off hits run a marathon. Anyways, um um what the fuck was I gonna say? Who would you like to see on Dining with the Wizard? Cujo? Uh, I can tell you're fading now. Yeah. I can tell. Who would I like to see? 
Has anybody counted how many shots I've been taking? Because these motherfuckers are like doubles. Oh, because they used to see my beers, that's why. Yeah. Last night, um, Emilio Rojas was telling me that I got finessed by Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you guys didn't watch it, go go over there and check out. Uh, um, look, let me tell you something. I had a guy named Smooth Vega, and, and I had to promote my shit. I interviewed him here on Roading, with, Roading Radio. Smooth Vega is a guy from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. He interviews people. Not only was he a rapper, promoter, but now he's a podcaster. He interviewed SPM, mm -hmm. okay, from jail. And um, he said, you know, all I'm going to say is go watch the interview. Uh, he, he talked about SPM. He talked about Little Vent. Are you familiar with Little Vent? I think so. He, he did Sad Boy Loco and Peso yeah, Peso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, him. He talked, uh, he talked about, uh, he interviewed Selena's husband. Oh, Chris? He, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Perez, if yeah. I'm correct. He interviewed the sister, the best friend, and the brother. Like, he interviewed them all. Oh, wow. They're all from Texas. Yeah. So he, uh, you just have to go listen to the interview. But he touched on a lot, a lot of fucking dope, dope shit, bro. Um, and he manages artists now as well. So if you ever go to Fort Worth, out of Texas, that's a hookup that I'm going to hook you up with. Hell okay? yeah. He, he'll, you know, he'll hook you up, bro. And um, I, I just wouldn't do that just for anybody, but only people that are fucking like, that I believe are talented. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to let me down. Okay? I won't. Like, I know you won't show it up all handed out. No, nah, it's professional. Yeah, I know. It's not like, it, like here it's professional, but like, everybody knows what time it is on, on this show when I come. Yeah. Oh, I, and I got another boy. Uh, let me give a big shout I out. I compare how I am now to my very first interview with him. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to give a big shout out to my boy, Cisco Zamora. Cisco and D Zamora from Odessa, Texas. They, they want to put together a show in Odessa, Texas. He hit me up. Yeah. And, and he brought your name up. Yes, and you're one of the guys that he wants to bring out there, bro. So um, hopefully next year uh, we're going to have a show out there. You're going? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm, uh, I'm cool with that then. Yeah, yeah. So Cisco, we're going to make that happen. Cisco and Dee Zamora, they're faithful followers of Rhodium Radio. So much love, much respect to them and to their business. So, um, But other than that, yeah, man, you know what? Uh, I want to make sure it happens. Bro, let me tell you something. I'm an old man, mm -hmm. okay? I have no business traveling. But I feel like I'm catching my second win. Hanging around guys like you and Mr. D. Big, 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 big. Yeah, we're just getting it and fucking. Exactly. So let's get this cheddar. I'm down, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I, and, and honestly, like, I, I'm going to tell you something that I, I told Mr. D. That your success is my pay. And I feel the same way about you. Yeah. Your, your success is my pay. I never asked you for anything. Never. You know? Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm always giving. Yeah. You know, so. Opportunities. Yeah. For us to make money or for us to, like, a little holiday real fast. and Or food. Yeah, or food. <laughs> That's the best part. But, yes. So, yeah, man. Your Platform. Yeah. Your success is my pay, bro. So, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it going. And uh, I want to see you win, big dog. Yeah, same. You know what I'm saying? Because. Likewise, especially for him, too, dog. Yeah. That fool, he's, he's talented. He's one of the ones that's he's supposed to be here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've been doing some filming today with him today. Uh, uh, uh you guys will see it probably next week. It, it's it's some nice dope shit, bro. So let's keep it pushing really quick. Um, so I'm going to watch a scary movie tonight, okay, until I knock the fuck out. I love fucking scary fucking movies, okay? I can't stress that enough. If you guys want to send me a scary movie and you guys want to buy it for me, um, sh shoot me an email and I'll send you an address and you guys can send it there. Blu-rays. Don't come to me with no VCR bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Blu-rays. I still buy movies. It's okay? going to be like, they're going to send you a fucking porno and shit. A homie yeah. porno, scary movie. <laughs> Don't send me no cuck hey, porno. A fucking boner jam. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Like 94. Here's my first cuck video. Huh. <laughs> it was scary because, you know, he was big, man. He was born <laughs> in my wife with a Freddy Krueger yeah, mask. Man, fucking, Instead of five it. knives, he had five dildos on his fingers. <laughs> And the middle finger one was a gigantic one. Eh? He had two fingers in each hole. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Freddy Krueger voice turned me on. Huh. I didn't know if I liked it or if I didn't like it, but I kind of liked it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the weirdest hood name you've ever heard? The weirdest. Twinkle Toes. Who? Twinkle Toes. Like that was like somebody's name. No, from that story you told me, the Twinkle Toes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. 
<laughs> yeah, Twinkle told me. That was because his nails were painted. Okay. I'm talking about a hood name. Like, um, I'll, I'll give an example. There was a the guy that had no... Ski ball. Okay, ski ball? There was a guy that was missing his four front teeth, but he had his, like his vampire right. teeth. Yeah. Like almost like extra long. Really? Yeah, and his name was Vampy. <laughs> that was the name Vampy. I met somebody named Vampy. For real? Yeah, the yeah. Vampies I know are from Gardena. No, but this guy had, n the four front teeth were missing. He just had his, like his corner teeth, mm -hmm. and the name was Vampy. And he, he, he loved it. He, he, he actually, owned that shit, huh? He owned that shit, bro. <laughs> That's the real fucking vampy. And I was like, fuck, this motherfucker. Like, all right, cool. You know? And then there was another guy named, um, he's uh, he was a chubby dude. I won't say he was where he was from, but his name was Whiskey. Because he loved Whiskey, probably? Oh, fuck. He was a fat motherfucker. But Damn. And then it was Whiskey. Sure so one day he comes. Okay, one day he comes to my crib. And my sister answers. My younger sister, she's maybe like 10, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, is Tony here? No, nah, who are you? That's what she said. Because he was going to... <laughs> she's all gangster and shit. Yeah. The fuck are you in? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and um, um, he was wearing a trench coat during the day. You know, back in the days when motherfuckers did that. Yeah, that's and, that means you got a shotgun on Yeah, you. exactly. And he goes, um, yeah, just tell him uh, whiskey came by. All right, cool. So I come home. Hey, Tony, your friend came by who? His name was Wine... What? Wine, he goes, yeah, wine. He goes, they call him whiskey, but I said wine. Why would you say fucking wine? It's easier to remember. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, wine. yeah. <laughs> hey, wine. no lie, I met some guy. They call him Puerca. Puerca? Like Puerca? Pork? Yeah, like like a girl. I had a homeboy named Menudo. Nah. So, yeah, seriously. Every time you looked at him, he had food around his fucking mouth. Seriously. <laughs> Like a fucking clown, huh? Yeah, and I was like, what the... F you just finished eating, like, two bowls of menudos? I just finished eating, bro. And I was like, fuck it, menudo. So that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was his fucking name. I'm trying to think. I've heard some fucking weird names. If you guys haven't heard hood weird names, put them up on the live chat right now. Let's go. Any fucking weird name. Vampy, menudo, whiskey, or wine. <laughs> wine. I got a homeboy named Dingo. Dingo? Like a dingo dog? Not like man Mandingo? Probably that's why he wanted me to call himself that. Dingo. Okay. Um, we have a homie named Mad Moss. Mad Moss? Not from Weed Moss, though, right? No. Okay. So that's a common name then from back in the day? Mad, Mad Moss? Uh -huh. No, Mad Ball. We have a guy named Mad Ball over here, but not Mad We have a homie named Mad Bull. Mad Bull. Yeah, we have a homie named Mad Bull. Okay. Like in, uh, they're all older homies, though. Yeah. Who you said Mass what? Moss? Mad Moss? I got a homie named Moss. What the fuck does that stand for? I don't know. Mass like more. Does, doesn't that? Oh, oh, mass. Okay. I thought you said like mass. Like we mass. I thought you said like mass. Like the I know, stuff that grows. Like, like, doesn't that grow? Like does it, isn't that That's the like stuff? seaweed, right? Mas. Yeah. Hmm. That's what probably you're gang of that shit. Say, like, so. Is anybody dropping any money, man? Because. It's not sea moss. Hood moss. <laughs> no, no. Sea moss. Sea moss. Sea moss. Sea moss. Caesar. <laughs> that was a fucking dope ass fucking movie. Somebody said he got a homie named El Mazapan. El, no, if you're serious, I'll believe it. But if you're, don't bullshit. Okay. Anyways, somebody needs to drop some money so we can get a shout out. Anybody want to promote oh, there the was business? Some fool he wanted to get jumped in. He wanted to be called Batman. For reals? Yep. He was serious as fuck. Okay. My son, he didn't call him Batman. He was Batman. <laughs> That's him, Batmon. B is the same idea? Batmon. Batmon. Yeah, Batmon. Like, I, I don't know, some type of Boston accent. Batmon. Like <laughs> Batmon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Batmon, Spider-Man. But yeah. <laughs> Batmon, Spider-Man. It dark outside. <laughs> I don't like it, the Michael Mann. <laughs> <laughs> Me not like a Michael Mann. <laughs> They try to give me Bamboo. I say no. They try to give me Spider Man. I say no. But I tell them I don't like it. I'm like, I'm oh shit. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm like, I'm like. 
<laughs> hey, Tony, um, I don't like him. Go ahead. There, there was $5 dropped earlier. It said, is there any chance to get the Mexicans on Dining with the Wizard? I think we already... Or no, well, we interviewed, well, we interviewed the Mexicans on the Capital I Man. But see, here's the problem. Okay, um, Sinful, my homie still lives in Long Beach. But uh, it's the Capital I Man lives in Brooklyn. The only reason why I interviewed them on Tuesday was because... Um, Capital I Man had to leave on Wednesday, but I've already had him here on Rodian Radio. But if you guys want to see Dining with the Wizard, I'll try to make that happen because I know that Sinful goes to restaurants and trucks and finds the best shit. According to him, he told me that the best like seafood, like marisco shit, is in Santa Ana. So, Sinful, we still got to get together. Hey, but, there's a part two to that. All right, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. That was it. Okay. Um, he said, uh, Cujo, if are you gonna work with Dizzy Ho Hollow? Oh, Dizzy Hollow. Dizzy Hollow. Sorry. From uh, Oceanside. Oceanside, yeah. Yeah. Now I know of him, but I, I don't have not talked to him. Yeah. Tell him to hit me up. Yeah. Tell, tell him to hit me up too. He unfollowed me. Why? You know what? Most people, after I interview them, they unfollow me. Because they got what they wanted, fool. Yeah. Exactly. So. If you got a rapper that has been on here, go on there on this page and see if he's following me. Check if Miss Pac-Man got to them. Damn. Exactly. You just never know. Savage. Go ahead and play that noise. <laughs> so. so that's Savages. A yeah. Hey, yeah, she been turning savages. people on us and shit, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> well, it, it's easy to <laughs> fool somebody. When you got fake puppy eyes, fake titties, and a soft voice. So, anyways. So, especially if you got a big pants, huh? Oh. Wash your pants, huh? <laughs> when you got, these are, these are when you got cockroaches, uh, you know, swim, doing the backstroke in your belly button, you know, <laughs> when you're taking a bath, you know. <laughs> anyway, anyways, let's not give it like. Let's keep it pushing. But anyways, um, but yeah. So let's see. Um, whoever drops a hundred dollars, whoever drops a hundred dollars, gets to be my next guest on Dining with the Wizard. Let's go. That's all I'm gonna say. <coughs> I buy the food. I buy the drinks. You just come bring conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you got 10 minutes to answer. If not, the deal's off. 10 minutes. Yep. So right now it is 1017. At 1027, we cut it off. So whoever drops $100 first gets to be the next guest on Dining with the Wizard. This is the so, very next one. Yeah. So if and not, you, get to, you get to meet the Makamaya. <laughs> meet the Makamayas. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the way you said it was funny. It's so. Funny. Oh, but. But uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Are you still hungry or no? I'm full already. For real? Uh, I'm like bloated. I'm trying to like burp it all out so I can drink more honey. Just blow, burp it that way. Do not <laughs> burp it this way. Because uh, me no like a... Me no like, my, a, me no like a burping guy. Me no, <laughs> me no like a Michael burping. <laughs> Michael burping. <sighs> so have you seen that meme where fucking Michael Myers got a girl dog and stuff? He goes... He, um, he was gonna kill that bitch, but Shorty was too fine, so he he has a doggy style. <laughs> you be posting some funny shit on fucking what do you call it on, on Instagram uh, on my stories. I be screenshotting them all the time. A meme lord. Yeah, you are. I, I screenshot yeah. them. I fucking send them to all kinds of fucking people. They will laugh. So look, if, if you look at me as a meme lord, next time you see me, one knee me. <laughs> yeah. If you see me as a meme lord, the next time you see me, one, one knee me. Which means kneel down and fucking give me my props. Yeah, yeah, bow down to me. That's all. <laughs> you know, especially since this whole COVID shit jumping off, we cannot shake hands, we cannot hug. Just one knee me and we'll be good. No, I just walk past you and be like, my lord? And fucking. <laughs> <laughs> my lord? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck up, Cujo. You're cool, Joe. So, anyways, um, I just thought the Rodian Radio dating show. 
where I bring the Chicano rapper, mm-hmm. and then girls don't know who he is, but three girls, like one winner, gets to go up with the Chicano rapper. Do it. No. Yeah. Do that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Do that shit. Yeah. You get to take That'll him. That'll be the funniest shit we ever seen You get seen to take him to dinner to Tommy's Burgers, any choice it of. Gets, it gets yeah. fucking recorded the whole yeah. date. Yeah, any choice of 40 ounce that she wants. No edits. Yeah, no edits. So, yeah. Now you're chilling on the culture. This motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Chicano <laughs> dating show. Are you, are you done with that, Cujo? I'm down with it. That'll be funny. Yeah, that'll be funny. So, yeah. Hating hey, will get you nowhere. <laughs> Jealousy will get you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> me no like an idea. <laughs> me no like a me no like a bee's idea. I guarantee fucking tell you. Trash can emoji. I, I guarantee fucking tell you that a bunch of girls sign up. I'm down. I'm down. Mm-hmm. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? So, so little do you know it'll be maito. Yeah, it'll be torta and maito on them. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Okay, you guys, you got seven minutes. To drop a hundred if you want to be the next guest on Dining with the Wizard. Seven minutes. If not, don't sit there and say, Tony A, I submitted it to RodingRadioGmail.com. I want to be a guest. Give you an opportunity. It'll give you an opportunity to to donate and to be a part of the show, right? So it'll take you ten minutes to shoot hundred. You could promote your music. You could promote your album. Mm-hmm. Shoot a conversation with me. I buy dinner. You can even get my phone number if you look good. Exactly. So <laughs> after this, do not bother hitting give, me. Give her my, my WhatsApp number. Give her, yeah, give her my WhatsApp number. So my WhatsApp number. Yeah, it's Cujo at WhatsApp. But anyways, okay, uh, Cujo, um, we got a couple of more minutes. How much we got? How much time we got? Let's do some fun shit. Thirty minutes. Okay. You got to speak close. Can we to take calls. No, nah, I don't want to take a, no, no calls. That's my favorite shit. I, I, I know that. I know that. But we'll get two dudes from San Diego that call in and talk shit. So I'm not trying to do all that. One guy wears cross. No, no, no. We're on a fucking roll tonight. All right, let's see. Cortez's or Chuck's? Fuck. To me, it's 50 50, bro. Okay, okay. So go out in, and then one of them is to be uh, you're on the block. Okay, the block will be the Cortez to go out will be Chucks. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Yeah. If you're going out to look nice and feed me and shit, I'll put the Chucks. Cortez is if I'm going to be feed look, look, let me just, sporty activities. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm, I'm going to tell you to all these new booty drug dealers. If you're curb serving in the hood, don't wear light up sketchers. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Okay? If the, cops, <laughs> if the cops pull you over, they're going to see your fucking sketchers light up. Uh-huh. Okay? Stop. So, don't do that. So, Paul's gonna have to run on his hands and shit. Yeah, exactly. Go, yeah, go with some Chucks or some, or some, um, you know, Cortez. Well, Cortez has gripped the ground real nice. The yeah, grass, exactly. Especially, especially if it's wet, you're not gonna. Exactly. Fall. So. And yeah. when you jump on the fence. Yeah, hey, exactly. The way those teeth grab onto that fence. Yes. Go ahead. Er, earlier, yeah. earlier, um, a while ago, uh, Enrique Led Ledesma, uh, dropped four ninety nine. He said, "Hey, Tony." When can you get young greedy on? When can you get young greedy on? Did you talk to Frank Nitty? Young got ties to Esco. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Okay, that can spit that no, no, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this. Whether he can spit or not, I don't care. Here's my thing. I reached out to Frank Nitty because I wanted to get young greedy on. Frank Nitty told me, well, interview me first, and I'll make Young Gritty happen. I interviewed Frank Nitty. He came over here and promoted his CMOS and all his whatever. Every time I called him for Young Gritty, oh, he's going to be in New York. Oh, he's going to be in Dr. Dre's studio. Look, I got love for, for uh, you know, um, Frank Nitty, but he gave me every excuse. So... I don't know if I'll ever be able to get Young Gritty, honestly, because... Unless he reaches out himself. Yeah, exactly, because every time I reached out to Frank Nitty, he's going to be with Dr. Dre this week. Oh, that week he's going to be in New York. So here's what I did. I sent him out a screenshot of the following month 
And I said, you give me a date. And he never got back to me. I give him a whole month. You get back to me. He never did. So keep pushing there. Yeah, so I kept I don't have to beg anybody. Tony A doesn't have to beg anybody. Here's my thing. It's their loss. That's it. So I'll drink to that. Uh much love to, you know, Frank Nitty, Young Gritty. Much love to you guys. But you know what? If you didn't get back to me, you didn't get back to me. So the sad thing is that it's the fucking fans that get robbed. So um but I got the hottest motherfucker coming out. You know, uh, Mr. D, Cujo, they coming out busting. So if you guys can hang with either one of them, then, you know what I'm saying? Showdowns. Me no like a mic. Me no like a mic. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. You know, if you could spit harder than D and Cujo, then cool, whatever. You know, then maybe you ought, you ought to do better with DJ Vlad and No Jumper. But, you know, we're good. So other than that... Um, I'll drink to that. A little bit of Pepsi. <laughs> that Henny sneaks up on a motherfucker, man. I'll tell you. That's it? It kind of yeah. grabs you by the boo-boo. I'm ba- I barely started, like, getting used to it, like, drinking it. Fuck, dude. That's cognac. One cup, dog, and I'm ready. Like, if I can't I can't drink it if I'm around a lot of people. I don't know, because I'm fight. No shit? Yeah, it should make me buy it. But not like, okay, in these settings... I'm good, like, you know. Right, right. But if you're, like, looking at a party or something. If you're looking at the Henny bottle, that bottle will start talking to you. Yeah, it'll be like, fuck this motherfucker. Fuck this motherfucker up. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You know what? That Henny bottle will like, hold on, hold on. You know what it'll say? Tell him to get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. (laughs) No, no. Fight the whole hood. Uh, Yeah, yeah, straight up, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) For real, huh? Knock all those motherfuckers out. Cheat on your baby mama. She's been acting like a bitch all day. Huh. It's true. Huh. Drive. You can make it. You can. Huh. Tony, five more dollars were dropped. Uh, Satan West wants to know, is there any chance of Mr. D music coming out on vinyl? Yes. That would be tight. Yes. Honestly. Look, yeah. Here's my thing. The reason why I don't give no updates on the Chicano rap documentary, the reason why I don't give no updates on Mr. D's uh, album is because I'm going to be straight up with you. Back in the day, we never told anybody shit. That's why I don't. That's why okay? I don't post shit on Instagram. Because motherfuckers be biting. Come, yep. Come A lot of motherfuckers that have no imagination, no creativity, they be biting. They be taking your shit. Okay? So we don't do that. See, today, here's what people do. They'll film their location at a video shoot. Because they can't wait to put it out. I can't wait to get Yes. The, oh, behind the scenes. You already showed us your location. You already told us which, where, you know, pretty much what song you're going to be fucking filming. You know, you, you're already giving us everything and then saying it'll be dropping soon. We already heard it. Well, it's like, it's like seeing a fucking, it's like, I don't know, it's like fucking a high enough for your date and shit and then she wants to do, get in a relationship. Her man goes to get in a relationship, but you already fucked. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of the same shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I you already give us your whole concept. No one wants to hear it now. Yeah. It'll be dropping soon. You just gave us everything. You give us your song, your concept, and your location. I don't do that. I don't fucking do that. So, uh, uh, when people say, give us an update on the Chicano Rap documentary, I don't owe you an update. I don't owe you enough, and I'm trying to be fucking mean. A donation's a donation, but I fucking guarantee you, you will get it. And I guarantee you, you, you know what? It'll be knocked out of the ballpark, mm-hmm. okay? Just give me fucking time. How much more time do you need? Don't fucking worry about it. As long as it comes out, okay, it will it will be out. That's all I'm going to say. I can't stand when people fucking tell me, like, come on, cool, Joe, man, you need to put your out. You need to put your out. Shut the fuck up, fool. I'm already two albums done. I have two albums I can release right now. Right. I've been working. I want everyone to think I'm slacking. That's good, because then you ain't worried about me. When yeah. you should be. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so like, I went MIA like a motherfucker, man. Aren't you pissing me off? Like, oh, you need to start putting shit out. Oh, man. You know, it's like, I know you guys missed the shit, but, like, fucking let me do my shit, fool. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, so, yeah. It'll be out. We had somebody said, I bet my life that Chicano rap documentary will never be out. 
Who said that? Fat trick, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Someone you said don't that? know. Yeah, some fucking fat trick. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You don't know shit. That's a good one. That's funny. I've been my life. <laughs> My First, life you have no fucking life. That's the problem. Oh. That's why it's easy to bet on it because you have no fucking life. I bet my life in my corner. Yeah. <laughs> You're like SpongeBob. All top, no bottom. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you holy bitch. Okay. <laughs> fuck, I know you fucking watch it because you ain't showing shit on a Thursday. Anyways. <laughs> Go ahead and put that noise on, Alex. She'll know who it is. Damn. Mm. You know what's funny? No, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyways, because me don't like a Michael Myers. <laughs> okay, the dining with the witch. <laughs> That's a new thing. <laughs> That's a new fucking thing now. Okay, uh, the dining with the witch thing is over. You had your opportunity, so you didn't. So. Oh, man. Anyways. Got to stretch. You good? Yeah, I'm stretching. You look cold, but hot at the same time. I'm trying to hide my belly. I see you got a little bit of peach fuzz coming out of your chest. And <laughs> hey, when you got that tattoo and shit, you had, did you have to shave your shit? Yeah. For reals? Mm -hmm. Did you use like- Well, I got it when I was young, so I really didn't have hair yet like that. When you were young, like you're still young. What are you talking about? Like 16. For reals? Yeah. When I got my chest and shit, I got some stupid shit too. But I, I didn't really have hair yet. Is there any tattoos you regret? The chest one mainly. For reals? That one, the G I have right here because the fucking stupid fuck didn't do it right. Wow. I, I, I like what I have. I don't like the way he did it. It looks like a fucking shit emoji. I know, but Kujo, wouldn't you have like done your homework and say, this guy's fucking dope. Let's do it. No, I was like, I was drunk. I was drunk and it was like Friday the 13th tattoos all day. But you know, no one was in line. So that was pretty odd. So I, did, I still went in there. <laughs> Friday the thirteenth special and let me get a fucking G. After you saw it, I guarantee you were like that No, I tried to lie to myself and my baby mama was like, No, bro, he fucked up and I was like, nah, it's, it's cool, fuck it, who gives a fuck? Let me see it again. It's it's solid black, but also he tried to shade it. Like he tried to put like a shadow on it. So he should have left it skin with the outline and then the shadow, or no shadow but solid black. But did, did you get your money like back? No, because I was drunk and I was happy with it at the time I seen it. Let's go fuck his ass. Let's go off. get that motherfucker. <laughs> We're going tonight. Make you better get the fuck run. out of there. Exactly. You know what I wish I could go tonight after this? <laughs> I wish fucking I, guy. You know what would be dope? Go down the beach pier. Just sit there and fucking drink some pistol. Oh, I do that with my uncle all the time, but not. And we go to. Uh, huh, Manhattan. Hermosa? Manhattan. Manhattan. Okay. Keep, we it's fish. Redondo, Hermosa, and Manhattan. Yeah, we, we fish there. For reals? Yeah. No, I like Redondo, bro. I'm, I like Redondo's Redondo. nice. You want to yeah. go tonight? Drink pistol. That's pretty. It's, it's Only nice. Only my son is down. Come on, B. Let's yeah. do it. Fuck it, let's Talk go. music. Yeah, if anybody's anybody lives in the hood, go meet us at Redondo Beach tonight mm -hmm. and um, bring some beer. Bring some fucking beer. You don't be a fucking... A little fucking, uh, what do you call a motherfucker? A little fucking mooch. I fucking live out. Hey, imagine some fool from the hood. What's up, homie? They call me mooch, homie. <laughs> imagine? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, because I ain't never got money, fool, but I just kind of tag along, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mooch. Yeah. Mooch a lot. I remember one time I met this fat motherfucker, and he was like, hey, what's up, bro? What did you do last night? No, I just went to a party last night. Oh, I met this one girl, and uh, after a while, we were making it out. Wait, wait, what? We were making it out, not making out, making it out. That's like my grandma. She said, "You piss me up." It's like, it's like, Ay, mijo, you piss me up. No, that George Lopez. But you liked it. it. <laughs> you know what's my, my funny? My used to call it calculator, or calculator. Calculator. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, he got a calculator up there. It, like oh, hey, yeah, uh, Alex, ask this question. Because I'm going to speak on it. Do you guys like George Lopez? I love him. Okay. He's funny as fuck. George Lopez is Mexican, okay? Really? He, yeah. Oh, I would have went, dog. Here, I would have went. Here, here's, my, here's, motherfucker, here's my thing. Why doesn't Raza support George Lopez? Because I think he's washed up, no? No, no. no or like, like he, well, he, fuck that he's washed he up. You know, it's like something. saying, you know, like, 
Michael Jackson, he's washed up. He's in his 50s. No, bro. He's, he's a great. fucking legend. Yeah. No, hey, the, the but George, I also think that they, 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 they mean that he's like, he's bougie now. Now, that George Lopez show was, was that pretty good, actually. I think I don't think he's bougie. I think that he's... Uh, a lot of fans because his wife about the kidney. Yeah. A, a lot of that. Okay, supposedly, again, I'm going to say supposedly because I don't know. Mm-hmm. He was married. He needed a kidney. His wife gave him a kidney. And then he divorces her. That's, I have to say, that's a story in a nutshell. Whether that's true or not, I don't fucking know. Uh, because when I interviewed George Lopez, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. There's a lot of Rasa supports him, but there's a lot of hate that goes towards yeah, but him. What if she was a bitch fool all the fucking time? That's the least she could do. <laughs> like, fuck, bitch. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't do a goddamn motherfucking thing, bitch. And I'm over here dying, give me the kidney. That's the least you could fucking do. Well, how, how long were they Who knows? married? You never know. I don't, right? I, I don't know. The good question is, how long were they married for before this went down? I, I don't like, know. I mean, not, I'm not saying that it's he justifiable, said, but there also could be a reason, like he probably, like you what said. What if he found her with Obama? Yeah. A reptilian. Getting well, taken down by a fucking lizard. Yeah, well, what if he said, <laughs> you know, like on my wife? Francisco Delgado said uh, he, he finessed the kidney. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was she was a fucking Amakamaya. <laughs> <laughs> she finessed him for a kidney. I don't know. <laughs> we know like Amakamaya. <laughs> I like George Lopez, so I'm going to interview him here. Um, Is it Mexican-American? Mexican-American. Well, he, no, no, no. What was the, the well, stand-up? Remember that one we watched? Was it American, Mexican, or Mexican? It was a, it was a great stand-up. It was yeah, a, yeah. Oh, I've seen them all. They're all yeah, fucking no, bad. But there was one that stands me that was hilarious. George Lopez is fucking dope. I don't give a fuck what you say. If you got something personal, cool, whatever. Take it up with him when you see him. But my thing is that... Um, People say, oh, you know, he makes fun of our culture. No. I, I don't see that. Shut the fuck up. Look, dude. you can nitpick if so you want. So what the fuck can we do? We can't embrace our culture and jokes or what? What the fuck can we do? For I, I know. Nothing. That shit pisses me off. These fucking faggots over here always got something to say about what we're doing for the culture. Or we're, man, shut the fuck up. Exactly. I, I've heard a lot of people tell me he makes fun of our culture. You know what? But you'll go support, I'm sorry, um, Blueface and YG. Making fun of our shit? Yeah, you'll go Shut support up, that's them. What I'm saying. Like, Shut that's the all I'm going to say, okay? But when George Lopez does it, uh, he does it, he does that. Uh, hey, hey, on Blueface's new song rapping in Spanish? Hey, yeah, uh, Enrique Led- Ledesma uh, uh-huh. dropped a uh, 499. He say, I saw George Lopez on stand up about 10 years ago. He supposed supposedly he's a sellout now. That's what he saying. says, not my words. Okay, cool. You know what? Just give him a hand clap for donating, number one. But, you know, here's my thing. And I'm not saying, I've never even met George Lopez, okay? Period. But here's my thing. You know, people are like saying he's guilty of this. He's guilty of that. But my, at least tell us why you think he sold out. Have you met him? Have like, you, like have we you deserve that. Have you had Honestly. Or like, we deserve that because, like, I met people that if people said, oh, that person's a fucking bitch. Or that dude is a fucking asshole. And then I met him and they were like some of the fucking kindest, sweetest persons I ever fucking met. So, you know, it's going to take a lot to convince me, you know. Man, as soon as you meet you, get the fuck out of my face, man. My motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Tony, if you have on this motherfucker so fast. Then I'll be like. Fuck George Lopez. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole special <laughs> on his ass. The fuck to George Lopez on Rodeo and Radio, you know. But no, you know what? I can't say that about him, man. Because I'm going to interview him here. Look, come November, I got some dope-ass guests coming in. Some dope-ass guests. Oh, I was in that one drink, fool. No shit? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So, I got some I got some dope-ass guests coming in November that you guys will be very, very excited for. Okay? Uh, movie stars. So. And you know why? Because I can call these people... And tell him I want you here. No problem, Tony. Just make it happen. Uh, that's what ha- that's what happens when you got to when you keep your name fucking clean, you know. Uh, and people know you. You know, people can say whatever the fuck they want about you, but the people that know you, they know you. So we're gonna keep it pushing. So, anyways. Hey, um, didn't uh George Lo- somebody hand George Lopez uh Sir Dino's uh or um David book. Rocha's uh book? Yes, and he promoted it. 
on his podcast. Yep, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You know, now, you know what? David Rocha is Sir Dino from up north. He's a pastor. Yeah. He's, okay. He's be, he's to be a fucking norte, but he's like a pastor now. Yeah. And you know, I guarantee you, some dumb fuck will say, "But he's a norteño. He should love to a norteño." Well, I don't support George Lowe, baby. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, I know. I can see that happening. It's bigger, than, bigger than that for right It's now. bigger than that, bro. Shut the fuck up. One minded, uh, one like small minded people. You, you, Very ignorant. Look, look. I'm gonna ask this, Cujo. Okay, you're from out here, from uh-huh. the, from the harbor. Say you had a, a cousin. Okay, that's a or, buster? Or that's a northerner, sorry. Hold on, hold on, brother. Or or a, a brother that you were raised by your mom, mm-hmm. and let's just say that he was raised by his dad, your dad, uh-huh. but up there, and he claimed to be a northerner. Would you deny him as your brother? No. I would say that's my brother, but he's a he's a northerner. Yeah, he's a northerner. So I don't really speak to him. Well, I understand that, but, yeah, but can you deny that you love him? Well, it's blood. Right. Can't tell me the homies out here don't have family that's out there that, you know, because Thank of the you. blood, that, yeah, they love them, but do they fuck with them? Yeah. Probably but, not as much as they would, you know what I mean? You're that's all, a, you know, that's all I'm not saying, at all, bro. You know, in most cases, not at all. You know that's I mean? like, all I'm saying. I don't have any. Uh, hey, at the but, end of the day, it'll be all business. And at some I mean, point, somebody's, never mind. I mean, you want to really up. get technical? What, so, <laughs> so, so, hey, you want to really get technical, so you're telling me that you're fucking throwing fades? Every fucking time you see them at a fucking family reunion with your abuelitas there and everybody yeah. right there, you know, you know exactly. having to show respect to the elders, you're fighting? Right. Or are you fools just like, you're over there and I'm over here, we're eating and we don't right. even say hi? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, come on now. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, fortunately, I don't have any. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so I don't know, honestly, what I would really do, but I would probably just be like, well, yeah, but I don't talk to them, you know? Yeah. But that doesn't mean like, oh, fuck him and fuck that. Right. It's like, you know what I mean? It's, it's just yeah. raw people, dog. You're from that side. That is, it is what it is. That's just being 100. To me, to me, rasa rasa. And if you're gonna go ahead and nitpick and talk shit, then fucking go ahead. Anyways, Mio, can you grab me another beer, please, Mio? But um, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, this is this is that blue though. <laughs> so um, it's somebody. My favorite color is blue, bro. So, somebody in the live chat is saying this. He says that George Lopez is a sellout because he. Never once said anything about the street vendor attacks. That's what some guy on the. So why is that says. his job to to bring that up? You know yeah. what I mean? He, you know what? Because I've had people tell me this, Tony. Why aren't you addressing this, Tony? Why aren't you? First of all, bro, I'm not your motherfucking leader. Okay. Exactly. Well, now, since when was he a dictator? When 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 have been I been a dictator though? <laughs> dictator Todd. Uh-huh. So here's my thing. When have I been like, dude? I was just on a fucking music podcast. Tony, you need to speak. Tony, you need... but you know what that In tells me? Way that's in a compliment. And the way that's a compliment. Yes, though. but you know what that means for me? That Raza is looking for a leader. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In a way, you're looked at her like as that. That's right. why they're coming to you with but it. But here's my thing. Why can't we all speak and be leaders? We need more. Yeah. Don't look to one. We need more. You be a voice. Stronger with me. I'm a voice. You're a voice. Mm -hmm. Don't everybody look at one person and say, speak. Motherfucker, I'm not Malcolm X. Yeah. I'm not Cesar Chavez. You know what I'm saying? Like. And even then, I'm pretty sure they would have appreciated some more heads. Some more of them. Yeah. You know? So that's all I'm going to say. It's like. Not everybody got it in. You know? Yeah. Not everybody got, got it in them. But here's my thing. All of those guys that spoke out all got fucking killed. Because they're the only one. They're the only ones. How easy it to how easy yeah. it, how easy is it to eliminate that problem? Exactly. Let's all fucking speak. You know, so when I speak unity is let's all fucking speak. Don't look to one person. Tony, you got the platform. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah, I may have a platform. Start your own platform. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? Okay, uh Facebook Live is free. Instagram Live is free. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, uh, whatever. Um, what's that other live? Uh, f- Skype is free. The only thing is not free is internet. Okay, pay your it motherfucking to be bill. McDonald's. Yeah, pay your motherfucking bill and go live and start speaking. Create your own motherfucking noise. Don't look for somebody to speak for you. Let's all come together and speak for ourselves. So, that's all I'm gonna say. Look, and I'm gonna say this. That I know of, when I went live 
2019, September 11th, I was the only one saying our people, our people, our people. And then you had, I'm going to go say this and I'm going to drop it, two fucking fat lanes from San Diego say, give our people our money back. Give our people this. You would never use our fucking people because you were too busy robbing our fucking people. Mm -hmm. Okay? You I were robbing our fucking people. It was only because I said our people that you fucking piggy banked off of that shit. Nobody else said that shit. The reason why some people supported me with uh, um, the GoFundMe was because I was standing up for our people and I'm going to deliver for our people and they're going to get their fucking documentary. But stop trying to go fucking live and telling our people, why isn't it out? There was no timeline given. So whatever, that's all I'm going to say. Same thing on my album, man. You motherfuckers just wait. Shit, goddamn motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, fuck off. When it comes out, when it comes out, I ain't put no fucking date on it. Mm -hmm. I hate that shit, man. That shit's annoying. It is annoying. It's you like, fool, how do you know I'm not in here trying to make that shit like extremely perfect for you guys? And you guys are just pissing me off, right? I don't even want to put that bitch out no more. <laughs> no, okay. but I will. Don't worry. We got 13 minutes left, so. Free man, 13 minutes. You already know. Spanch on la tira. We got 13. Eh? Hmm. So, okay. Um, what else I talk about? Birds and the bees, flowers and the motherfuckers. Okay, we got 13 minutes. We got 13 minutes for you to give. Go ahead and give it 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 and give it. Give it a month. Dick is a Ben Davis. Dick is a Ben Davis. Ben Davis. Ben Davis. Okay. Better material. And looks fresher when it's Not only Ben Davis, not only, like you said, better material, it looks fresher. Yeah, especially when it's creased, it looks, whew. Yeah. Cortez or Jordan. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hold on, go ahead, go ahead, Alex. Your jeans, how often do you wash them? We don't wash them. I don't them. wash my jeans at all. You don't? Keep them crease. Oh, you're getting that crease. Keep them crisp. Always. Okay. I'm Here's sorry. my thing, but, you, but look, 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 if you got 501 jeans. Any advice for people that I love Jay's, dog. Uh, wait, so, like once in a wait, wait, say that again? Any advice for people? No. I have a fucking story, bro, from the other night, and I'm fucking telling it. I didn't shit my pants, but I have a great story, bro. You sharded? No. I went out, right? Get, with two closer. friends. With two friends that were girls. Right? Did you buck them? No. Okay. One, one of them I was taking care of because, you know, that's just like the homegirl, you know? Okay. Right? She was trying to hook me up with her friend. But I was like, eh, she looks like a little floozy bitch. So I'm good. But So I'm just really stuck there. So I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just get drunk. We'll chill. I'll we'll kick in this shit. So we're having a good time. We're in Hermosa. They were at Sharky's. And then we went to Tower 12. You know what's that? Tower 12 is tight. I like Tower 12. Yeah, so we were kicking it there. Whack. You don't like it? Never been there. <laughs> so we fucking leave. I try to take them home. They're smashed. They're like, no, we can't go in there. And one of them's like, because my mom's not going to let me in. She's going to be a bitch talking shit. I was like, well, what the fuck you want to do? And she's like, well, let's just go to your pad. I'm like, we can't go to my pad. And she's like, yeah, we can. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we can. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to let these bitches sleep on the couch or whatever. like, Because it ain't even like that. You know what I mean? Let these bitches sleep on the couch or whatever. And I'm going to knock out of my bed. Fool, we get there. I start drinking. The homegirl starts drinking. Right? We, we, we start talking shit, like talking about my cousin and shit, like reminiscing, right? And fucking the other girl sleeping on the fucking couch, bro. Pisses her pants, fool. Goes to the fucking bathroom. I look, and this bitch falls on the floor. I'm like, oh, my God. This bitch just pissed her fucking pants. And she's wearing, like, like, like fucking light blue, light, light, light blue, light, light, light blue, light, light, light blue pants. So you can see the wet. And I'm just like, oh, my God, bro. This bitch just pissed her fucking pants, fool. So her homegirl, which is the one I know, it's like, it's like oh, bitch, you got to throw up. So she, like, grabs her hair. I'm like, throw up. This bitch pissed her pants. Like, so I'm going to get clothes. I'm I'm getting like clothes and shit. You know, try to be a good like a good homie and shit. Like, hey, fool, put these on when you're done. You know, so you don't have to sleep and piss. You know. <laughs> so I fucking I, I I shoot them some fucking clothes, and then she's like, I, I can hear this bitch like ugh, ugh, throwing up right, bro. The door's closed. This is all I hear, fool. And I'm in the kitchen like putting shit away. All I hear is, bitch, you shit. And I'm like, this bitch did not fucking shit in my fucking thing. Like in my fucking, like, back, like, you know, like all over. I walk up to knock on the door and it all hits me. 
I was like, this nasty bitch, and she was a bad bitch. I don't give a fuck how fine you are. How fine these bitches are, fool. They shit just like us, if not worse. Fool, I was like, you good? She's like, oh, uh, yeah, she's good. And I'm like, she shit, fool, huh? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, where, fool? Don't tell me that shit's all over the fucking floor, fool. And she, and she was like, no. And I'm like, wearing her pants? Bro, she asks me to like for wipey, so I start making wipes. I fucking go. I start. How do you start wipes. making wipes? What fucking like uh pa- like fucking little paper towels? That's paper mache. Well, I start. I start fucking. I start wetting them and shit. What's the factory? Fool! I fucking. She opens up the door and that shit just really. always like that shit smelled the whole house up. Fool! I almost kicked that bitch out, but she was like incoherent. What if so she, she was saying? I no, made, she was just like. Oh no, no. My what if she said? I made room. Now you can go in. <laughs> Boo. So like I'm like I'm getting mad at the hunger and I'm like fuck boo because she's all drunk like fuck you shut up I'm like no bitch fuck fix this shit dog get her fucking ass to the couch like I'm, I gotta go to sleep fool this is like stupid already so I'm starting to get like a little annoyed and she's like fuck you you're an asshole to me like I was like I'm fucking helping you like I'm helping your fucking hunger right now like what the fuck fuck dog I didn't even know how bad it was until she fucking took her pants off it was all inside her pants. This bitch strips down, my stupid ass homegirl balls it all up in the fucking shorts I gave to this bitch to wear. So now she just dirty shorts. Fool, it was bad, bro. She said, turn the shower on. I'm like, okay, that's how I know it's all over her fucking legs. And yeah, all that shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all over the place. Once I heard that shower go on, I was like, oh my God, bro. So fucking, they start taking a shower, right? And all I hear is this bitch who shit on herself go, that's so disgusting. Ha 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 ha. I was like, this fucking nasty bitch. She's not even ashamed or anything. I was like, this fucking nasty whore. So fucking, I'm like, fuck, dude. As soon as they come out, I peek. Thank God they, she, my homegirl cleaned everything for I was like spotless in that bitch. I was like, Whew. you know, I had to freeze that motherfucker immediately. I was like, Shh. you got a lot of Halloween candle. Dog. So I fucking, I'm like, where's, where was the shit? And she, like, they're like, we don't even know. So I look down and it's like full, all in her pants, full, balled up. It, uh, I was like, fuck, that's nasty, homie. So what I do? Bitch, you want to shit your pants in my? I threw that shit off the balcony. Wow, <laughs> where the tweakers be at. <laughs> I'm like, Merry Christmas. I threw that shit off the fucking balcony and shit. Fuck. Yeah, I fucking saw a big old basketball. Like, it's like basketball shorts, like, but like shit's balled up in there. I fucking threw that shit. Wow. Next morning, this bitch has the audacity. Have you seen my pants? I was like, I was like, nah, I ain't seen her. The homegirl's like, where's her fucking pants? I was like, we don't remember what happened last night? She's like, nah. I'm like, look at what this bitch is wearing. She's like, you fucked her? And I was like, no, nigga. She fucking shit her pants. And was walking around. Like, so they start cracking up. Fool, I made that bitch fucking feel bad, but. Can you imagine you? Could you rape me? Because <laughs> they, they didn't even go to my bed. Like, like they, they didn't even go to my bed at all. Like, you know what I mean? I was mad, fool, because I was like, man, this fucking bitch like, fucking shit her fucking pants and fucking walk around the house. I shit up. on his dick. Ew. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that shit. I fucking, I locked my door. Put it that way. When I went to see, my door was locked. Fuck that. Who would want to fuck a bitch that shits her pants? I got his, free, I got my frijoles on his cock. Ew. Nah, that's, that's a good story, though. That shit was, yeah, thank you for that. That's a good story. That, that was a good story, yeah. Um, that happened recently. Is she from San Fernando Valley? You don't, no? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know where she was. She's older, fool. She was, like, probably, like, 30. Yeah, you know what? This one's 30. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just. No, but to me, it's like, how are you 30 years old and you can't fucking hold your vows and shit? Like, that's crazy, fool. You must have been on something else. Well, does she work for Dash? <laughs> no. I, I'm, I'm just asking. I, I don't know. I'm trying, trying to Ooh, guess. Like, Uber Eats. Uber Eats, yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know how, I don't know how bitches be she like. She also eats. That shit's so. crazy, dog. That shit's fucking. Like, I would never do that, bro. Well, I'm just asking. Yeah, like, I would I don't never know. do that. Like, I would never shit my pants somewhere. I shit my pants one time, fool. And my for cousin really helped me. But it's because I got locked out. And I was knocking and no one was answering. And I was, there was nothing. that I had to just hold it. Uh-huh. That's that's the only reason why. And then my home, my mom, like my cousin starts talking to me, and I'm just sitting there with shit in my pants, and I had to just tell him like, "Boy, shit, my fucking pants." Boy. You know what? Somebody just said Jorge Gonzalez. Tony is awesome. I like that. You know what? That's the best compliment I've got oh, since yeah. Rodeo Radio started. <laughs> Tony is awesome. Jorge Gonzalez. You know, I had a cousin named Jorge. 
Okay. And you know what we used to <laughs> call him? No, no. Jorge. ¿Cómo te llamas? Coike. That's what, he couldn't say Jorge. So he said Coike. ¿Cómo te llamas? Coike. So Coike Gonzalez, much love on me. Tony is awesome. Till this day he can't say it? Well, yeah, he's older now. You know, my daughter can say Michael, my, not Michael, me not like a Michael, my. So, yeah. So, so, somebody put, cut him off. To la verga, puto. So, you don't like it? Fucking cut yourself off, homeboy. As a matter of fact, go into the bathroom and get some scissors and cut your little pee pee off. You know, hear that motherfucker touche in the fucking toilet. Hey, new news in today. The fucking toilet. A, a podcaster, Tony A, <laughs> told somebody to cut their penis off, and they really did it. <laughs> and Tony A is under custody right now, uh-huh. you know, because he convinced somebody to cut their fucking people, like, pee pee off. <laughs> they can show my motherfucking mugshot. I'm innocent. Just like the fucking bow tie killer. Hey, you'll be like this. <laughs> exactly. So, look, if you don't like it, Get the fuck off. Seriously. You know, we got almost 300 people on. Obviously, you guys must like it. But anyways. All right. Cool. Whatever. Somebody, what the fuck? Orderly George. Could you make a song with with a nor Make a song with a Norteño. Would you? Never. You're stupid, fool. Okay. Well, um, what if it said, Cujo, 10 G's right now. Let's do this. Nope. Okay. Nope. Cool. Can't All put right. a price on that shit. All right. Cool. People be asking the stupidest so, shit, hoping that I'll be like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, somebody for 28, you're so <laughs> packed. Yeah, people be wishing I'll be like, yeah, dude, yeah, right now. Like, what the fuck? Hold on. What does this mean? Tony A, your soul patch is crooked. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's going off to the side. That's oh, yeah, like. Oh, yeah, like. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. There what you a go. fucking dickhead, huh? <laughs> Damn, that guy is look Yeah, he's fucking. They like examine hey, you, dog. Hey, everything I say, all everything I do, all the time, everything I do. Tony, fucking God. <laughs> Tony, I guarantee you, your shoes are untied right now. So, so, gracias. That dude's like fucking guy. <laughs> Tony, I guarantee you, your foreskin's not pulled back. <laughs> Red flag. Red flag. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Guarantee your kids not because leaning to the right. Oh. It's to the left. Okay. <laughs> Cujo and Freaky Tales again, Tony. The pelvic sorcerer might be back. <laughs> hey, you loved on, on Freaky Tales, bro. For yeah, real? You are, yeah, you yeah. love my sister. You're watching my... Everybody tunes in. Everybody tunes in. I'm just a fat. I'm just a fat kid from Gardena. I'm, I'm just a fat beer drinking kid. But they love your cheeks. They do. I want to blow up your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he said that shit earlier? <laughs> <laughs> hey Alex, says we got. Let me see how, how much. How many more minutes? Oh shit, we got two more minutes. Two more minutes. Anybody just a hundred dollars? <laughs> Dining with the wizard. <laughs> Anybody drops <laughs> <laughs> That shit is fucking hilarious. Anybody just a hundred dollars? That ain't with the wizard. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, that shit is fucking. Thank you for the food, Tony. Man, this was good. Yeah, bro. This was a bomb. Oh yeah. So my son just dropped a hundred dollars. Somebody put, can I pay later? No, you ain't no fucking layaway. The fuck? Can I pay later? Walmart lets me. Thanks. So, yeah. Can I pay later? So. No payment plan. No payment plan. Let's go. You got 10 minutes. You yeah, got 10 minutes. 10 minutes to be my next guest. So, yo, you know what? I love, I love, I truly love you guys hanging in there with us and fucking. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. But, but I'll say this. Um, okay. Should I, should I give who's going to be possibly my next guest? Give one away. Give one away. I'm going to give one away. Not the biggest one. 
Okay. I'm going to share with you who's going to be one of my next guests. One of my next Go loco. Go loco. YG? Go loco. Where's that boy? Go loco. That's YG. Go loco. Go loco. Where the fucking... No. I'm going to give you a hint. One hint. Go loco. Go loco. Oh, the girl. <laughs> Fuck. Go loco. Go loco. Right, okay, you're basing it off the song, the music video? Go loco. Oh, Spanky. I'm giving you his fucking name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Spanky. No, because I, I, I was either like, okay, go loco, but I'm like, okay, loco, <laughs> West Side Locals. And I'm like, okay, snack, night out. Okay, it's Spanky. Spanky loco is going to be one of my next guests. So. I thought you were talking about the music video. Go the loco. YG one. Go loco. <laughs> I you were gonna pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once you did that, I was like, Spanky, but make sure. Yeah, so Spanky Loco is gonna be one of my next guests on here. I'm not gonna tell you when, but he'll be one of my next guests. He already said he's down. So, Ray Rice. He's been showing love all day. Ray Rice? Yes, Ray Rice. Ray Rice, much love, much respect. Let's give him a hand clap. Who, Let's I'm give him a hand clap. Yeah. 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 All right. Tony, I got bus to oh, tokens oh. and food stamps. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, homeboy. Uh, uh, bus tokens and food stamps. Let's do this. Okay. We so. Gotta be doubled on food stamps. So, yeah, it's got to be double on the food stamps. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, hold on one second. What the fuck? My fucking internet is tripping. Look at that shit. It's spinning. How's the it's internet? Buffering. Hey, how's the internet it's connecting spinning. over there? Good? Okay. Okay. You could get her ass. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Here's my thing. Be scared and say, what's up? He'll take you out. Oh, he'll give you... Never. See, here's my thing. I, he'll pregnant. No, I'm pregnant. down to get Jenny 6 9 But when I reached out to her, according to her, she's busy till January. I, I ain't trying to fuck with you, honestly. <laughs> like, honestly... I have to, though. Be look, look, uh. look, you ain't that fucking busy. Honestly, you ain't that fucking busy. So that means... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, like you're that fucking busy. No, you don't have an hour of your time. Like, yeah, yeah. You ain't that fucking busy. So that's all I'm going to say. So I'm not 69. I don't have time for 28 <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm busy all hey. the time. Hey. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So don't hate 69. Tony. Tony, you know what? Let me tell you something, Tony, culero. Who are the fuck you the are? Time. Somebody, but don't hate Tony. Here's my thing. We cannot voice our opinions without you saying don't hate. If you think I'm hating, it's a la pinche verga, culero. <laughs> you know, as, a matter of, as a matter of fact, stick a plunger up your motherfucking ass while you jack all your fucking cut. <laughs> so that's all I'm that's, a, that's what retracts it back and shit. You don't even have to. He's just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, fucking guys. You fucking cuck. So, <laughs> you cuck. Stop giving your girl fucking weekend passes. You fucking cuckster. Yeah, you f get the fuck out of here, here motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> so I'll tell him before I fuck his wife. <laughs> before he jacks off to your ass cheeks. Huh. So that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. So Tony sixty nine. <laughs> I grab your bitch, I fuck her, and I like it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I invite her to dine with the wizard. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here. Talking about Obama, he's yeah. a lizard. La 69 is whack. You're right. I don't think. So, anyways. So, yeah. Uh, so, if you think I'm hating, stop. You know, here, here's my thing, and I constantly say it. We live in a generation that says, I don't give a fuck, but it's easily offended. Stop. Stop, bro. Stop, seriously. You know, if I don't like something, mother, stop hating. For, I feel like Shut our the fuck up. To kick up shit, fool. Yes. They love to watch beef yes. and like kick that shit up. Like, what do you call those fools in fucking? That, that's the whole rap industry. Yeah, it's so just. You just call it WNB. Like, they're all fucking. Okay, some, somebody say, Tony A hit up Jimmy O'Milliot for the interview. Let me tell you something. 
Hold on. Tell him. Um, let me just say that Jimmy O'Milia talked, and he said he was willing to be on, and I'm just waiting for a date. That's all I'm going to say. That's, that's all. Happy Halloween. Unpleasant dreams. Sorry. Uh, fat, he's drunk and he's fat, and he's fucking on my bricks. King Little G on. You know what? When you got a guy like... No, let me stop. I'm not going to say it. So, um, yeah, let's keep it pushing. So, I don't want to wake up the next day and like get like 20 texts. Hey, Why'd you say that? so-and-so said it, so-and-so said it. Because I meant everything I said and I had fun saying everything I said. I don't regret shit, honestly. You'll find out that when you get older... You care less. You don't give a fuck, okay? Because you're only telling the truth. You're not hating. You're only telling the truth. And all you guys that are out there that are saying, stop hating Tony, when you get to my age, you're going to find out you care less, okay? It doesn't mean that you're trying to disrespect somebody. But it just means like, you know what? Fuck what this culture, this society, this generation thinks. You want to tell the truth. And I just speak the truth. If I don't like this, Generation of music, I'm gonna say I don't like the generation of music. Stop saying you're hating. If you if you come to me wearing a fucking blue shirt, uh, you know, I think you would look better on a black shirt. Stop hating on my blue shirt, Tony. It's not that. Like, I just want better for you. That's all I'm saying. So, but yeah, giving direction. yeah, I'm giving direction. So, uh, interview Mr. Criminal. Here's my here's the one thing about Mr. Criminal. He was booked. And uh, he canceled. When you cancel, I don't rebook you again. That's it. So, uh, Snow the Product was booked. She canceled twice. I'm not going to book you again. So, there's a lot of artists like that that I will not book again. Everybody that, nobody's unreachable, okay? Especially with my history, especially with the people that I know. You know, uh, Raymond Curley, much love from Laughlin, Nevada. Homies, waiting on the Tony A. Cujo Savage collab. That's dope. That's dope. He dropped five bucks. Yo, big dog. Uh, let's give him a hand clap because I know Alex is not here. Yeah. Much love to you, big dog. So, other than that, let's give him a hand clap, Alex. So, he dropped five bucks. So. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. You know what? If it, I've, it, Believe me. Everybody that you guys have asked for, I reached out to. Like uh, that group, De California. De California. They paint their face like skeletons and all that shit. And they're dope. I reached out to them. And I'll tell you what they told me. We're busy right now. We'll let you know when we're not. I don't ask again. Mm -hmm. You know. They're lucky you even asked in the he, first place. Cool, Joe. Look, look. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look, I'm going to say this, bro. He never asked. No, you eventually asked me, but I had hit him up first, the very, very first time. But look, Kujo, I'm, I'm going to say this, and you tell me if I'm wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm 53 years old. My music career started in 1987, okay? If you look at all my body of work, all my history, and you take all the Chicano rappers, I have more history than all these guys put together. Yeah. Okay. Especially with big name shit like Disney okay. and fucking. Yeah. Dr. Shit, Dre, dog, DJ yeah. Quick, whatever. Full. Cypress Hill. Full. How you have Tina Marie. In the, okay. How we have homies in the rap in the rap shit, right? We're rappers and we're like cool with each other, rappers and shit like we yeah. know. Like, oh, I know, you know, Swifty, I know Doughboy, oh, I know fucking so and so, Trouble Kid, with whoever, right? Oh, it's the homies, you know? Yeah, we know them. Ooh. That's how it was for him with like Dr. Dre, Easy, Cube, like, oh yeah, it's the homie, yeah, I see him all the time. Like, oh yeah, yeah, fool. Like, I, I've recorded him, I recorded him, recorded, yeah, I recorded him before. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So when people tell me, <laughs> shit's crazy. Oh, I can't make it. I got to cancel. I will not book them again because you know why? I know my worth. I know my worth. And you know what it is? It's your loss. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, no disrespect, but I'm going to speak on it. It's your fucking loss. If you tell me you're busy, it's your fucking loss, big dog. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. The sad thing is that the fans that support you, the fans that support you, 
they're losing out because they want to see you interviewed. Look, I got a big enough platform, Cujo, to say so and so, 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 so and so. Do not support him anymore because they don't want to give you guys the interview. And those guys will go so fucking broke, they'll have to go get vaccinated and go get a fucking job at a warehouse. Let's be honest. I got a big enough platform where I can name drop. That's Do fair. not support these motherfuckers. Yeah, these motherfuckers right here think they're they're prima donna. To, they're think, they think they're too fucking big to give you fans an interview. I don't want your goofy ass here. My thing is this. I'm trying to do it for the fans. I got enough, I got more history than all you motherfuckers put together. Look, let me tell you something. And I'm not even trying to brag. I'm just dropping fucking facts. Big facts. And, and if I'm, look, if you could prove me wrong, What's prove me wrong. Goofy ass? I don't look, goofy ass. If, <laughs> look, let me tell you. If you could prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I got more history than all these guys. You know? On a mainstream level. Fuck yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so, uh, all, all the way around on a mainstream level. Hell yeah. You know, and, here's what I'm gonna say. When it comes to Chicano rap, what, what Mexican producer remixed for Queen? What Mexican producer has remixed for Queen? What Mexican DJ has ever did NWA mixtapes? Okay. Can you do your explosion? Can you get an explosion? Yeah, exactly. Look, what Mexican DJ can say? I did mixtapes with Dr. Dre. That. Okay, Ice Cube. That's probably when that fool was like, "Oh, he's gonna be in Dr. Dre's yeah. studio." He probably thought you were gonna get all yeah. fucking. Ooh, you're like, well, I know." That Easy E. <laughs> One Mexican DJ was in the studio when uh, um, um, NWA was recording the records. Okay, somebody may say, "Oh, Crazy D." Well, I'm sorry, Crazy D's not Mexican. Okay, um, in the same studio. In the same studio. Okay, in the same studio where Bigger recorded. Watching him do it. You know, now now look at. I don't ever toot my own horn. I Look, if you're going to quote me, that's cool. But don't misquote me. I'm saying this because my son encouraged me to say this. Who's been in the same studio with Biggie? A Chicano. Nobody has. Who in the world can say they did mixtapes with these guys? Nobody. I did mixtapes with DJ Quick before Hebra blew up. Second to none, AMG, High C. Our records came out in 1991 and all our records went gold. Look, crazy. look. Look, I'm going to be real with you, and I'm going to start with some controversy. All of San Diego, line them up. Who has more history than me in San Diego? Nobody. Nobody. Okay? Not Night Out, not Royal Tits or Royal Queen, but um, even in L.A., let's go. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Big Frost a shout-out because Big Frost has a lot of fucking history. And, and you know what? I was a big fan of Frost. So you know what? That just goes to show how humble I am that I have to... Uh, uh, like pay my respects to him. Frost was signed to R Rhyme Syndicate, which is Ice T's label. But at the same time, I was doing my own thing. So you know what? Much love to him. But at the same time, there's a lot of history, and I, I never spoke on it. I would have taken these things to the grave, but my son encouraged me to speak on it. Yeah, hell yeah. So what other Mexican you know. can say they have my history? None. So. When I went ahead and said, let's start a doc, uh, Chicano rap documentary, I have to say that I was the guy that would re remain unbiased of rappers because I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper, okay? So people that say, oh, Chicano rap started in San Diego, I disagree, it started in LA. That's it. So um, if you have a problem with that, um, there's not a problem that I can't fix because I could do it in the mix. That's all I'm going to say. Go ahead. Hey. Everybody keeps asking for Magic Girl on, but she says she talks too much shit. Like Magic Girl on here? Okay. Um, let's book Magic Girl on here. But you know what? I love the shit that Magic Girl talks. Let me tell yeah, you something. She's, there, she's fucking smart, bro. Because sometimes it she's takes really smart. It takes balls to be a woman. No, she a real one. She a yeah, real she, one. she a real one. It takes balls to be a woman. And they ain't too many, you know, a lot of you girls are out there, are, are gangsters on social media. This girl is real in real life. That's all I'm going to say. Matt, you guys know her as the, the talk box queen? 
More than that. That bitch will set you straight, fool. Yeah, more I've than that. i all kinds of stories about that little girl. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> let's keep it pushing. So, um, you know what? Rasa, let's just be real with ourselves. You know what? You got a lot of guys that try to claim. I never try to claim anything. Like, I never try to claim anything. Like, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But you know what? Sometimes, remember this quote. If you don't toot your own horn sometimes, don't complain that there's no music. But I'm going to say it again. If you don't toot your own horn sometimes, don't complain that there's no music. You know what? Um, that's all I'm going to say. There's two people. No. Let me rephrase that. Three people that I believe in on the West Coast when it comes to Rasa. Mr. D, Cujo, and Bella the Rapper. Mr. D, Cujo, and Bella the Rapper. By this time next year, three, these three people are going to take over. Oh, yeah. I haven't that's, even told you fucking the new news I got. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. You know, I, and I don't mean to disrespect nobody, but this is the new generation. Okay? And uh, Magic Girl, even though I'm producing, uh, what? Well, no. Magic Girl, even though I'm co producing your record, I don't consider you a rapper. I consider you an artist. You're on a whole different other level. She can do everything too. And your shit is going to fucking take off. So. All these people that, you know, whatever, they're going to realize when your fucking shit comes out and you drop that funk on them, you ain't going to give a funk about them. <laughs> that's <on her. laughs> so that's all I'm going to say. What did Magic Girl say? She, you're black right now? Yeah, yeah, she's fucking. <laughs> she said, what happened? Who we fighting? I was making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> trip. Okay, somebody got $10, Alex. Is that right? Go ahead. What is that? Uh, he says, uh, Porfirio Diaz, he says, you're a Chicano, but I admire your pride. The said Mexicano, I grew up bumping Chicano rap. I'm 32. I support you, Tony. Como, como bien Mexicano y mucho orgullo. Viva Mexico. Yeah, viva Mexico. You know what my shirt says? Can you read it? I didn't ask to be Mexican. I just got lucky. <laughs> Facts. I didn't ask to be Mexican. I just got lucky. So, he says, Yo si se como hablar español. 90% of Chicano rappers don't talk, don't talk Spanish. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. I've been there from day one. And, and I don't say that as a put down. Because a lot of parents... Do you speak Spanish? A, a lot of... Yeah, you know, a lot of parents... Well, I know some, but... Yeah, and, and I'm going to speak on that. A lot of parents didn't take their time to share that with their kids. You know, like my son doesn't speak Spanish, but you know what? My son understands Spanish. So you could tell my son, um, tres tacos de carne asada, you know, whatever, un burrito de, de pastor or whatever, he'll understand everything. You know, disculpe mijo, he'll understand everything. But it's just, I was raised where you couldn't speak, you couldn't speak English at home. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how it was with my grandma. See, I, I, when I was a kid, I was learning. See, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that to my to my kids. I didn't want to do that to my kids. I wish I did. Now my kids do understand, and some do speak Spanish. Uh, but you know what? That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's our job as parents to teach our kids those idiomas, meaning two languages, because we can get some dope ass fucking jobs, bro. Because we're gonna take over everything eventually. You know, so you better learn two languages. So that's all I'm saying. So I, I encourage everybody to speak two languages, Spanish and English, because we're about to take over everything, not only in the East Coast, but over here in the West Coast. Why do you think you got Snoop, you know, fucking uh, uh, rapping in Spanish? I feel ran out of shit to do, I think. <laughs> Fuck. Well, nah, he did no. up, so I thought he ran out of shit to do. <laughs> So, and, and uh, let me give a shout out to Bobby D, the the best promoter nationwide. I know. Oh yeah, dude, that fool's a shit. <coughs> that fool's <coughs> right there, boy. He could throw a fucking concert. Dude. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there talking shit I'm about him. To be on his shit. Let me tell you something. Bobby D <coughs> has shown me nothing but love and respect, and that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, much love to you, Bobby D. Keep winning. Fuck all these motherfuckers. Bro, the haters. only fucking chance that Chicano yeah. said we have to be on a on a major show. Yeah. 
is Bobby D, yeah. bro. And you know what? We got our own motherfucking people trying to throw him under the motherfucking Fuck. bus. Fuck you. Hey, man, That's what look. I'm going to say. I mean, I don't know who that is, so I don't know. I don't now, know who I, that is either. And, and I didn't even know that, but... I don't know who that is either, but I'm mean, just hearing social media bullshit. Yeah, see, I, I don't know who it is. I haven't heard that. But if that's true, that's fucked up. But, I mean, it is what it is. I don't know why that's happening or what. But what I can say about Bobby D is yeah. fucking... I would do anything to get on that motherfucker's fucking Look, lineup, dog. That fool. Crabs in a bucket. You see him winning? Fuck him. Um, uh, I'm going to pull out a sixth grade report card. He got all fails. You know, he still has paper pickup. You know, this he still has a mile to run in seventh grade. You know, like, That's crazy. Whatever, bro. I, I don't know why. Like I said, I, I, I'm barely hearing this right now. I don't know why or what. I don't know. I don't know what's going on or whatever. But like I said, about Bobby D, what all I do it's know. It's all social media bullshit, is, bro. is that fool right there could fucking change your life, dog. That's someone yeah. big right there. And I'm, I'm giving homage because the shit I would do to get on that fool's lineup, that fool's the one who books the fucking... Summertime in the LBCs that gets sold out. He's behind that shit. Yeah. Fucking god damn. I mean, what all the big ones in LA, he's behind it. Main head behind it. Like look, he's I'll nationwide. On, Bobby D, much love, much respect. Big dog, we got your back right here, Rodin Radio. Thank you. You know, he gave me an interview, bro. Not too many people he interviewed him, but Bobby D gave me an interview. You know, and then we got some guy or whoever it was, try to like, oh, I'm gonna expose Bobby D. I'm gonna look, stop that, bro. We're Rasa and then we're trying to expose. When they see somebody like get like a big dog in it, fool, a lot of fools try to get knock him off. And, I know, I know. Instead of just being the homie with them and asking him how he did it Quir and him help him. Quite meal. Magic Girl's locked in. Okay, Magic Girl's locked in. What about in. the Cujo uh, hook? She's coming to her feelings. She's what? She's coming to her feelings. Oh, she's coming to her feelings. Magic Girl's locked in. She's coming to her feelings. Hey, ask her about the Cujo fucking feature that I'm, I'm waiting on. Magic Girl, we got you. Um, hurt feelings. Uh, this, whoever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter. You know, as long as you speak truth, we're, we're all good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah. So, all you cucks better watch. Cucks. <laughs> ah, DJ Cuck. So, anyway. You know, there's a guy named DJ Cuck from Bakersfield. DJ Cuck. I, now, I don't know if he's a real cuck, but he's DJ Cuck from Bakersfield. C -U -C? I think so, yeah. Yeah. DJ Cuck from Bakersfield. So, yeah. And it's like, DJ Cuck. Yeah. Cuck, 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 Cool, Joe. Haven't I told you? Ben. That's all I'm going like to say. Like a while back. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. He's the one lagging. No, I'm not. Okay, maybe a little bit. See? See what I'm yeah. saying? See what I'm saying? So I, that's bit. all I'm going to say. Somebody said start oh, Francisco Delgado. Tony starts scammers records on Rodium Records. Or Rodium Records. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, You're talking about like a sub? No, 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 start like start a, a, start a, a label. A label. Though, right? Look, look, I'm gonna say this. Me and my boy Denver in Vegas have thought about signing artists, and because we have a platform where we can promote artists, we can push artists. He's got a studio, and I have the production. He has also the production, so we're thinking about doing that. Because look, let me tell you something. Meeting guys like you, bro. Meeting guys like Mr. D. Meeting women like uh, Magic Girl have given me a second win, bro. Yeah. Honestly, you know. It, look, and my thing is not even to get fucking rich, bro. It's like seeing the next generation make it, bro. And my son being a part of it. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, when I check out of here, mijo, I love you. Shake my hand. We're, I'm out of here. Take care of business. Mm -hmm. Take care of your family. Take care of your sisters. Take care of your, you know, your your nephews. You know, you. That, that's, all, that's all I mm -hmm. want, bro. And then I would, I would be happy because I'm content. I don't have to live in fucking Beverly Hills, Palo Verdes, Woodland Hills, and all these. Bro, I still live in the motherfucking hood, bro. I could have moved my family out of here. Oh, yeah. You know, but I still live right here on Calle L, and I'm still fucking happy here, bro. Mm -hmm. And a legend. Everybody from the motherfucking Harbor area comes over here and feels at home and comes good oh, drunk yeah. with me. So, so all Fuck you. Yeah. yeah, all you fucking lean. All you fucking lean. 
Go ahead, Mule. Magic Girl said, tell Cujo if he remembers that one time. I asked for the feature. She said, if you remember that one time. That's all she put. Magic me. Girl said. Yeah, oh. she told me that she that she had to talk to like her manager or whatever, so I, I couldn't. Yeah. She couldn't do it. But still, I don't know that, that's, that's I'm saving a song just for her too. It's Jade up some, too. I, I need, I need, I need her. Wait, wait, Tony, I haven't I released it because Tony, I need you need to, to hold on. You I need, need to get extra trouble on the interview, Porfas. I think I interviewed that guy already. Did, Alex, did I? Is it trouble? I think I did all. I think I, we did him already. Yeah, I think we interviewed like him already. Yeah, so you know what? Look through my videos, big dog, because I think I interviewed him already. Somebody asked for Little Travieso. Remember I told you from the back in Colorado? He was with the other people from Colorado. They knew him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. One who was running from the cops on Facebook Live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know, let me make a shout out, big shout out to, uh, if I'm, I hope I don't mispronounce, Still City Hustlers from Pueblo, Colorado. Much love to you guys. Still City Hustlers from Pueblo. These guys flew out from Pueblo, Colorado to be right here. That's crazy. Yeah, so, I, I, bro, I'm going to give a shout out to them, you know. And, and, you know, much love to you guys, man, because you guys live way out there and you guys flew out here to be on this platform. That mean, truly means a lot to me. And let me give a shout out to Jay Bliss. Jay Bliss from Brooklyn, New York. He's Ecuadorian. And he fucking, he, I love the way he promotes himself. He doesn't give up on himself. And he wants to win. And you know what? That's fucking dope. That's dope. And uh, Jay Bliss will be back here in December. Much love to you, Jay Bliss. Uh, thank you, Erica B&B, &B yeah. for managing him. Erica B&B. &B, uh, uh, B and b stands for Black and Brown Entertainment. And um, uh, Bella is a part of her team. And. Bella's fucking dope. So much love to you guys. So hey Tony, um, I yeah. was gonna let you know that. All right, we don't. We haven't had SA trouble. We've had trouble kid and trouble P. Okay, you're right. You're right. Okay. Now somebody said Tony bring. Hold on. Hold on. There was somebody that said something real fast. Uh, it's the trouble. Jangani. Tony. Tony bring the real together. There was somebody that said something real fuck. Fuck, I, just, I was just reading it. Okay, maybe I didn't fucking get it. Um, Swan so mixtapes, 20 year classic mix, classics, Tony. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Um, oh, MC Boulevard. MC Boulevard. Early 2021, I talked to MC Boulevard twice. But MC Boulevard literally lives about two hours away from me. And he said that his work schedule would not allow him to be here. And you know who hooked me up with MC Boulevard? I'm going to give a big shout out. David Rocha, a.k.a. Sir Dino. Okay. Well, it looks like into God. Yeah. So MC Boulevard, you know, I was connected through him, through Sir Dino, a.k.a. or David Rocha. And... We've been in contact, and I, I want it, and he will be here. It's just that his work will not allow him. And I'm not going to go into the, his personal reasons, but it was because his family, um, you know, things wouldn't allow him to be here. But MC Boulevard will eventually be here, so just give us some time. Um, I will say this, 2022, he will be here. So I just can't give a month. So I remember you, homie. Yeah, exactly. I remember you like if it was yesterday. Yeah. Bro, I don't even want to get... Okay, somebody put crook one, a crook one or whatever, um, or CNG. Like having a pick between the two? No, no. Just here. I want to say that they've been reached out on several occasions. Crook one, CNG. They've been reached out to several occasions. Oh, on several occasions and nothing. They don't, they don't reply, they don't read their messages, they don't read their emails, nothing. Multiple tags? Yeah. So oh, yeah, their number too? Multiple wow. tags, nothing. Right. So, um, you know, eventually, look, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. But eventually, I'm going to go live and I'm going to tell you guys, don't support these guys. Don't support these guys. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not giving you, the people that support them, what you guys want. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Not what I want, but what you guys want. I don't have nothing against these guys. Like, I don't even care about these guys, you know. Um, 
and when I say I don't even care about these guys, like I'm not trying to beg these guys. Like I sh would, I shouldn't have to like, hey, you want to come on my show? Hey, you, I'm not trying to do all that. So um, if they don't give you guys what you want, don't support them anymore. But those two guys have been reached out to and nothing. So uh, like Reverie. Reverie has been reached out three times. She canceled twice, and she wanted a third in it, a third um, date, and we just finally said, you know, we're not interested. Fucking <laughs> well, Tony's going in. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not talking shit. My thing yeah. is that, like, if you have to cancel that many motherfucking times, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, I'm not going to be Anybody begging. Anybody would be like that. Like, I would be like that. Don't have to chase nobody. Yeah, I would be the same way. Yeah. I'm being honest. Look, look, when I got DJ Yellow up in WA, and all it took was one fucking phone call, and he was here. Well, you got people coming from New York. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I could have Be Real here twice, and all it took was one fucking phone call, you and he's got a, a star in the Hollywood Rock of Fame, you're fucking nobody. Let's be honest. You're fucking nobody. When I had Prayers, who's married to Kat Von D, who has his own fucking career, come out here, show up an hour early, you're fucking nobody. You know, you're I can keep... Yeah, I can keep going on and on and on. And you guys who are social media famous, cancel on me, I don't, don't get mad. I don't need you. So, not me. So. Hey, um. Enrique. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. You got it. Have you tried Little Danger Brownside? Yes. Uh, I was in contact with the Teresa boys and, um, like several times, we talked several times. And um, they said yes, they just never gave me a date. That's all I'm gonna say. So they never gave me a date. I Like little Rob said yes, never gave me a date. I wanna be here when he yeah. comes. Baby Bash be gave me comes. a date. I mean, I'm sorry, Baby Bash said yes, never gave me a date. A lot of these guys say yes, but they just never give me dates. And you know what? I mean, maybe shit came up. Like, you know, like, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm here for you guys. You know, I don't charge people for interviews. You know, I've had people tell me, if that many people cancel on you, start charging motherfuckers for interviews. I guarantee you, if you charge them, they'll show up. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't want to do that because if I do that, then I'm not supporting Raza. You're, you're, you're charging them. Yeah, I'm charging them. I'm no different than from fucking Power 106 or KD yeah. or 92.3 The Beat. I don't want to do that. At least you know that you could be broke, but like dope as fuck. Yeah. You don't get recognized. I'm Tony. giving free promotion yeah, on, there and on people who don't want it and or people that are canceling. Think about that. I'm giving free promotion. You're not getting paid for this. Yes. You're taking the time out of your hours of yes. your day. We've been on here since how long? What, seven? Yeah. No, eight. So it's been three and a half hours that we've been on here talking shit for free. <laughs> yeah. And there's people that don't, don't even want to post a fucking flyer. But see, that's what I'm saying. They're going to fucking come late or they don't yeah. want to show up or whatever. But yeah. So but you're taking time out of your day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just the way I see it. If somebody asked me for an interview and I said $200, I can't even fucking tell you they'll show up. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. So. I, like, I don't want to diss nobody, but that's all I'm going to say. So, conversation with BYOB at Tony A's. Bring your own beer. Yep. So, anyway. Or you just say, bring your own blanket if you want to spend the night. Uh, bring your own bitch. <laughs> He's probably a cuck. <laughs> Can you get Nate Dog's son in hell, in hell? for an interview? Somebody get Cujo a Modelo. What a Modelo? All right. Okay. Look, here's the thing about Inhale. Um, we've been in contact with him, and I'm down to anywhere with him, but he's never given me a date. Same thing. I love to do a lot. Inhale. Nate Dog Son. Oh, yeah. You know, so. But, I, you know, I'm going to say something. Tell me if I'm wrong, okay? If I die, Tomorrow. And my son takes over Rodian Radio. Uh -huh. Okay. Hold on. I don't want my son to be me. I want him to be him. Of course. 
Okay. Own identity. Yeah. I, I know where you're going with this already with the Nate Dog shit. I could see that shit coming a mile away. I had girls tell me that. Oh. So that's all I'm going to say. I'll leave it at that. Raymond Curley, thank you for giving one ninety nine. That's two cup of noodles for Cujo. Uh, Eric, Eric uh, TX dropped the uh, nine ninety nine. Okay. And he didn't say nothing. No, he just put him. a strong arm. Oh, I don't know. He, he, don't know. Know. he just put a, a muscle flex. Maybe a hundred dollars. Yeah. 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 Tony, you a gangster? I try to be. Uh, can you an, a, interview Big Trey D? Yes. Uh, that's one of the guys that, that that will be here soon. Big Trey D. So yeah, mo most definitely. Tony. Um, other than that, um, Little Quete fool. Uh, Little Quete was was asked a year ago. Never again. No, Little Quete said he's an, he doesn't need an interview. Oh wow. That's what he said. He doesn't not need an interview. So I'll leave it at that. See that this is what I'm talking about. Feed me. If you guys are a fan of these people, and they don't want to give you not give me, but give you what you want, don't support them. Don't believe me. They'll be working at a motherfucking warehouse, eating at a, eating at a taco truck on lunchtime. Don't support them anymore. That's all I'm gonna say. If they don't give you what you want, do not support them anymore. No matter how whacked your CD is. That's all I'm going. <laughs> Half of these motherfuckers can't even spit anyway. So I, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, um, uh, you ever come to a, to Monte at Tony G spot? Yo, whenever Tony G invites me, I'm there. And you know what? I usually I go by myself. As you should. A real man. I'm not even going to say a real gangster. They know me. I show up everywhere. Look, it's not even about a, being a gangster. A real man will show up by himself. Every interview that I've gone to, I showed up by myself. Me too. So, and you know what's crazy? Every woman that I booked for this in for interviews with the Dining with the Wizard, Freaky Tales, or for Rodin Radio, they show up by themselves. They all show up by themselves, bro. So much love to respect and much respect to all you women out there that come here. But eventually, I'm gonna have Evelyn G, uh, Magic Girl, uh, what's her name? Uh, Oh, God, don't let me forget her name. Um, Isabella Sol, she's been hitting me up for uh, Dining with the Wizard. So I'm going to hit her up uh, to come here. So all you, everybody out here, Crystal Poppin, um, has hit me up for um, Dining with the Wizard. So, uh, oh, Sammy Joe, I got to uh, give a big shout out to Sammy Joe, a real one. She wants to come on Dining with the Wizard. So I'm going to make that happen. So other than that, um, Cujo, shout outs. Shout out to all the homies. Y'all know who you are. That's it? I'm drunk. Okay. Yo, Warren G, yes, I'm definitely, I definitely been reaching out to Warren G. So I'm trying to make that happen. So yes, I would love to have Warren G here. Warren G used to want to be on the Rode mixtapes and Steve Yano used to turn him down. Really? Yes. So when he comes Why? here, I want him to share that story. Because you know, you know what he Warren G goes. I'm Dr. J's brother. You know what? You know what? Uh, um, step brother, right? Well, yeah, step brother, half brother. Yeah. yeah. Steve Yano told him, "Yeah, but you're not Dr. Dre." So, <laughs> so yeah. he, he must have proved him wrong though, because that fool went. But you know what? Warren G faced obstacles and he won still. Yeah. That's a winner, bro. Yeah. That's a winner, and I want him to share that story. So, other than that, um, yeah, let's keep it pushing. Um, I love his beats, dog. Uh, hell yeah. I fucking love Warren G's beats. Yeah, speak closer to the mic, homie. So, I fucking love Warren G's yeah. beats, eh? Joe Rogan, interview Joe Rogan. Fuck, I would love to be fucking be some funny shit. I would love, look, I would have to sell tickets if I ever interview Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is a fucking shit. Straight up. That's a hell of a ticket. Yeah. Fact. That's it. So, uh, I bump High Seas Canlis album on my playlist. All the time, Tony. Yo, much love, big dog. Muchas gracias, Tony. Can you please give a shout out to the 801 Ogden, Utah. 801 Ogden, Utah in the motherfucking building. Big shout out to you guys. 
Okay, when Mr. D comes out, Kuja comes out, do me justice and book these guys. Okay, 801 Ogden, Utah. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Ogden, yeah. Yes. So uh, once again, uh, let me give a shout out to uh, este Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. You guys want to follow him? He will be on the description. Um, he is under 81 Cervantes Enterprise. My son, be scandalous. It's be scandalous, not be nice. Uh, be scandalous. Uh, make sure you guys follow him. He was just on my last episode on Rodian Radio. And uh, follow the hip hop Jedi. Uh, he always uses the force inappropriately. So, um, once again, I want to thank Kuja for coming out. And I want to thank me, okay, and all my future guests. I gave you guys an opportunity to be on here, but you guys, none of you guys donated. See, Tony, he, he's trying to twist people's arms to be on. Shut the fuck up, you fucking fat bastards. Anyways, you fat motherfuckers. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Everybody in the live chat, everybody who liked, commented, whatever. Um, Cisco and D Zamora, if that's a Texas, thank you. Much love, much respect. Um, I'll see you guys here on hopefully tomorrow. My guest has not confirmed for Freaky Tales. So... I've had a guest booked, but my guest has not confirmed for Freaky Tales. So, if we don't have Freaky Tales tomorrow, dispensa, mensa. So, uh, yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. So, other than that, I'm going to start saying that shit. Yeah, you know what? Time, God yeah. bless. We'll see you here on Sunday with a very special guest. Get and the out of fuck here. out of here, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Play that motherfucking beat, Alex. Bump that motherfucker. Let me hear that shit. Come on, bro. Come on, Kuzu. Keep dancing with me. We're out of here.